Okay, looks like we might be live for real this time. Um, let's make sure that everything looks good. Okay, I think so. Perfect. All right, well, in this case, uh, let's, let's proceed. Okay, so here we are, and I will be continuing our journey here. Um, my whole goal is to kind of go for like a semi-random sort of run. And I think we have an okay number of candles to work with. Yes, it's looking okay. Okay, so 67 candles. That's really not bad, actually. Um, at least compared to how many candles we wind up with on a routine basis. So let's, uh, let's scoot through. I don't think we have any more characters unlocked. So we can spend our points on, you know, I don't know. Unlocking a bunch of new pets or something. I'm kidding. We'll probably actually just upgrade our, our people, which is what makes sense to do here. I love that everything is glowing. I don't understand what it means. Oh, right. The mountain is cosmetics. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, I mean, if I come here, I probably shouldn't spend any money on the larval carrion either, but it sounds really cute. So, like, maybe we will, though. Maybe we will. Um, okay. Resourcefulness. Of course, all of the stuff is really really useful and I should probably spend more money on this to be real with you. Wow, look at that, a free mineral rich spring water. <clears throat> that seems like the way to go. Um, also arriving at the watchtower. Wow, everybody gets plus one speed until the next inn. That seems really quite good actually. Um, yeah, see, <laughs> we could spend all of our candles and still not make it there. So that's how you know you're winning. Um, all right. So I want to take a look at the living city. We really neglected, like, the man at arms. I'm not super worried about upgrading the bounty hunter, <clears throat> mostly because we've never actually gotten him. So I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, and I'm planning on just kind of, you know, hitting um, random and then seeing if that's, like, a viable party. And anyway, it's not like I would really know since that last run was really not a viable party whatsoever. And yet, it, it still, it still lasted like four hours. So, and I mean, we made it, we made it to the boss fight, but it just, it was, it was rough for sure. Okay, at the least, we should go ahead and upgrade him a little bit. I think we're at a point now where we're basically getting like trinkets from everybody. Yeah, <clears throat> a knitted blanket. Do people normally do that? I don't think of like I think of quilting as as the thing for that. Okay, so that's neat, this this poet thing. Um, I guess we could upgrade him to here and him to here as well. I mean, basically anything that's giving people just some upgrades, like agnostically good upgrades rather than like a path which we'd have to pick or a trinket, but okay. So that's not horrible. I, I do want to spend a little bit of money on these. And I'd like to get a larval carrion eater. It sounds really cute, doesn't it? Okay, and then, I mean, because they must be so tiny. We've seen what the carrion eaters look like. We've seen how they compare to the carrion devourers. So, I mean, it must be, must be a really adorable creature. Okay, so sickening silence is not going to be immediately useful to us, so let's actually go ahead and open this. We've unlocked the achievement. This looks familiar, which I'm assuming is the, like, get the altar, um, of memory or whatever this is called, get it like halfway remembered. Okay, really? More of these stained items that I cannot use. Um, let's try for a third one and see if we get we got another one. We don't have any of the dark impulses, so okay, last one, last one I swear. And then we'll spend some money on like, I don't know. Okay, look, a distant trinket, something somebody can actually use. So it increases melee skills. But if you miss, you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, good to know. And then I know we could do a combat item and an in item and call it good. Okay, a bone saw. That's a, it's a combat item. Huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice. And uh, my time in the desert. Uh, very cute. A drop of sanity in a sea of madness. Is that is that even true? I mean, doesn't this seem a little iffy? Um, I don't know. Is that like a, is that a reference to the shield bearer? Or is it a reference to just the occultist? I don't know. But, um, oh, here it is. It is. It's, it's quite cute. Okay. Does it have a shell, too? Because that's great. Um, wow. Okay, gain on killing blow. 
on on the killing blow of a corpse is that what they're saying okay that makes sense because that's how they that's how they roll you know eating corpses or whatever okay well i'll uh i'll buy that for a dollar okay so we'll scoot on see how the larval carrion eater treats us and uh see what kind of party we get oh yeah of course here we're just picking act two you know we're just gonna keep banging our head against the wall until this works out i have been looking into like you know and by looking into, I don't mean like actually doing any research. I mean, I've idly thought a little bit about whether or not, like what kind of party makeup you need to defeat the lungs. Because they're kind of, they're kind of awful. So I don't know, some incredible piercing for like applying, you know, bleed or blight or burn. Or you just have to like, I don't know, do a ton of damage, right? It's maybe like Dismas and a leper. And then like, I don't know like a stress healer or a regular healer or something so let's try a random party this random party does not have a name which is so disappointing um hmm hmm well it gives us the leper which is someone that i've been you know talking about um he doesn't do as much damage though and i think we always want him to do a lot of damage i don't know him being like a lot slower just seems awful but we could we could try it i mean we haven't tried it before so we could try it putting the vestal here is a strange move i don't think i really like it to be honest um because this means melee only skills and no healing skills and i mean hand of light is neat and all but i don't know if i really want to roll with that kind of build it seems like it might be a little tough um, but, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad party. Yeah, not necessarily a bad party. It, it feels weird to have him here, but, but maybe it would be fine, right? Maybe I shouldn't complain because I have no idea what it really takes to make a good build, you know? Okay, he's a pirate, which I, I think is fine. Um, he's a quick draw, so we can actually afford the Tempest one without it, like, ruining our lives. Unyielding is great. Torn Rotator Cuff is less great. Um, yeah, I mean, in this case, we're probably not going to have him do a ton of damage, right? So, I wonder. Stand Fast skills and Shield Attack skills. And what do we have him using right now? Oh, God. Stand Fast is so good. What does that do for it? Okay, um, oh, it gives him, um, uh, whatever it's called. Taunt. I assume. I assume that's right. Because she's a Tangle Tactician and a Fussy Eater, that's fine. Tangle Scrounger. Wow, okay. Um, but she's anemic. Oh, God. The the whole wooziness that accompanies it, it's really not great. Maybe I should look into somebody else. He's got a bum leg. But gets a second wind. Okay. <laughs> well, that's nice. And then I guess our other play, I mean, our other option would be the Amateur Weaponsmith Jesus. But a 10% chance to start blind. So blindness could be like our theme, you know? It could really help us here. And my amateur weaponsmith is really nice. And this one's not bad either. Do either do any of these parties have a name? Because if these parties have a name, okay, they don't, unfortunately. Very disappointing. Um, hmm. Hmm. Second wind is good. This is what making it so that okay, they crit more. Amateur weaponsmith is alright. Of course they're more likely to start blind than with a crit on them so maybe it's not that important <sighs> okay you know what listen we need to listen to our rng masters okay so we will that's what we're gonna do that's our plan all right so we'll just keep her in the back with kind of the usual makeup there <clears throat> i think i normally give her confessor did we do, we did chaplain once, right? Enhances stun and move resist. Which, I mean, this is so, so good if we fight the Leviathan. I mean, if we do that, then that's kind of actually insanely good. So I don't, I don't hate that. But it just enhances, yeah, stun and move resist. It affects hand of light, which I don't think we're going to use. Okay. I don't think we have mantra or the other one. Mantra, and was the other one Sanctuary? Yeah, mm-hmm. So this one, at least, we have Illumination and Judgment and it, that it can affect. So we'll go with this still. 
Oh, I should actually look and see what the difference is. Because I, I don't know. I don't know. So if I go back to Wanderer. Oh, okay, so it doesn't have them do debuffs at all. That's neat. Okay, interesting. Okay, so hang on. Let me just let me just check on this. Okay, so yeah, it would deal more damage and then it would apply Oh, it would apply burn instead of the, these weaknesses and things like that. Okay. Kind of interesting. Um I mean, I guess we can always try it with Wanderer. We haven't in a long time. Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll stick with this. Okay, we'll do Dead Eye probably. Um we don't have her in the dark that much. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? The only one we have for this is Dead of Night, which is just not that great for us. It's just not amazing. Um, I, of course, wanted to have that one. We'll take off Flashing Daggers, which I virtually never use, and it needs, like, some kind of... It needs some kind of incentive to use it, because, like, Throne Dagger's great. I know that it hits two people, and that's kind of the thing, but it's basically just for removing... Like, it's for removing tokens, right? I mean, that's that's how, like, I perceive it. Which <clears throat> does not at all make that, you know, the actual case. But still. So, lunge, I don't really... I just, I don't want that. I don't need her in the front. So, yeah. We'll just do Deadeye. And then we'll hope she doesn't fight the Leviathan. <laughs> okay, yeah. Lunge, Pirouette, Shadow Fade. None of which we have. Well, we have lunge, but we're, we don't have it equipped. Flashing daggers, thrown dagger, poison dart, glint in the dark. Okay, so flashing daggers I removed, thrown dagger and poison dart. Those would, would impact. But that just increases how much poison she does when she's in the shadow. Which does not help us very much. I'll double the dose, just to be sure. So she was always rather good at darts, but everybody hates using dart boards together. So I don't even want to talk about this. Um, and then this one I'm not sure about. I think either way, we can take off Crush. I know that's weird, but I think we should either do Sergeant or Bulwark and take off Crush, leave on Rampart, which I guess will put him in the second place slot a lot, which is okay for most things. He simply can't purge, and I'm not too worried about him using purge, so that's okay, I think. Um, and then what would we give him instead? Bellow or Stand Fast? Probably Stand Fast. I think that one's really good. I mean, removing a repost is great. Slowing people down, also great. Um, hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know Rampart doesn't do as much. Hold the line, just moves him forward. I don't know. Him having more movement resist seems good. And also this bolster skills, removing other debuffs that also seems great of course ministrations would get us there too but i don't know i don't know his shield attack skills having some stun resistance piercing is cool it is really neat i don't know this is a weird one each ally on turn start that's like that's great though i just i feel like it's so strong but this is cool hmm hmm and then stand fast also. I don't know. Maybe we should try it. Maybe we should try it. We'll try Bulwark. We'll try it. We'll see what happens and we'll try it. And then we kind of got him doing his own thing up here in the front. She does a fair amount of damage, but of course she's a bit of a glass cannon in that regard. Like she doesn't have a lot of health. And then we'll roll with a healer. It'll be great. Yeah, I'm sure this will be fine. I can't really imagine any way that this goes badly for us. So this is what we'll do. Oh, God. I imagine it's, like, dying before we make it to the first end. Okay, um, who's gonna be doing melee? It, this guy, right? Like, that's literally all he can do. He doesn't have any ranged skills. Uh, sorry that I just started, like, hissing like a snake there. I mean, it happens to everybody, I guess. Uh, he has negative one. Even though, doesn't he have, like, a positive trait for this? Whatever. We'll just throw on this combat item for you. And then we got an in item and a bunch of cursed stuff, which I mean, it's always great to have a bunch of cursed relics in your uh, in your car before you even get started on a road trip. I consider that like a good omen, you know? Because I mean, you got all the bad luck in your car already. Ahead, only trial and tribulation. Well, I mean, if he says so. Okay, so let's let's test out our people. 
let's see what kind of weird setup we have going on here. God, I'm still kind of scarred from my last run, but we're doing, we're doing great. Oh, I should check on everybody's goals. I didn't look at that. She wants to use the blood, Jesus. She wants to use bear traps. He wants to go to the fetter. And he wants to use bandages, which that one makes a lot of sense. Um, <clears throat> very, very in character, I should say. Well, I mean, I think these guys do have some blight resistance. But, I don't know. Four to five. Yeah, I don't know. Is there any real difference between these two? Because we hit the guy in the back row harder. Yeah, we got four, which is kind of lame. Uh, he can use chop, but he'll probably miss. But we'll try it anyway. Okay, he did miss. Hmm. Hmm. I saw something on here. Okay, so on combat start, he has a 50% chance and then a 25% chance. That's kind of that's kind of surprising. Oh god, I hope it's already not one of these teams where they just where we just can't do any damage. <laughs> Because I'm a little, I'm a little tired of those, to be real. So if we do this, then he'll have, he'll have taunt, right? Okay, so that'll be fun. And then we can upgrade it so that he gets the 75% block. Um, and then that should be pretty good. Wow, he's really, he is taking, like, a lot there. Okay, we got a crit here, which, I mean, it's about time. Yeah, maybe we really will die in this fight. I mean, it's so slow. Oh wow, a crit for 11? And he's being poisoned for 12? Wow, this is, this is kind of nuts. 18 damage on that. Okay, wow. Wow, that's not amazing. Like, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Okay, we'll bolster since we're already taking stress damage. Man, we're not doing very good there. <laughs> okay. I don't think, I don't know if these, if these are meant for me. You know? These, uh, these characters or these, these, like, teams where we don't do, like, where we do so little damage. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not, like, a huge fan of them. He still won't die. So we'll do this. I mean, it seems ridiculous, but I just, I'm, I'm a little tired of them doing this to us. Okay, I could try hitting this guy. Beautiful, so now only one more turn of this interesting how they really target that second row spot a lot and then like he can finally do something cool yep and he can still do most of his stuff from the second place slot so if they switch it's okay beautiful wow okay it only took us like a hundred years and like half of the mana arms health no uh, no worries there but we can upgrade we're we're basically already earmarking some of our combat upgrades combat skill upgrades i should say like i i think we definitely want to oh we got a mop and bucket somebody's going to enjoy that oh man i hope this is a reasonable party makeup i know this was mostly just random I and mean, the only thing i changed was the party order okay look we made it great i'm surprised he didn't like heal because we were we were close there you know um this is cool we could we could try it right give him the cleaning one this one would help him hmm i'll help him if he's doing the taunting but he's not ever doing a lot of attacking there are no kings aboard this coach but i do think it stressed him out which that kind of that kind of is not great you can put this on her he always promised to take me somewhere sunny uh and then we'll go ahead and just upgrade his stand fast immediately I think we should if we're planning on using it a lot and we already tentatively are so we'll do that uh this would make it so that yeah it gives her a little stress heal which is cool um hmm poison dart casting more blight is great oh uh, what does she do more healing i like the resistances i always think that's nice maybe we just increase chop so that it has like a higher a higher upper limit and then what would we do with this? This just gives him some, okay, some resistance to debuffs. Okay, interesting. For now, we'll just upgrade chop because I feel like we're really slow, and it kind of it kind of hurts me. Go to the Wainwright. We have a pet, don't we? 
Oh, we just we just unlock it. We don't like it doesn't give us the pet in the beginning. Okay, it is here though. Um, I'm excited to try it. I think we should take it. <laughs> I'm completely fine with this, even though it's maybe a little weird. And then we do we should probably look at what all the provisioner has. Okay, there's a bunch of health items. I'm gonna do it. Let's give everybody some delicious foods. We should take the glimmer of hope because routinely I forget that it exists and that's not very great for me. Uh, the pond still is great. Like just flat out, I'm just gonna buy it. Hello. Here is my pet, my strange, strange pet. Oh, it does have a different sort of box. Okay, that's neat. I suppose you would keep it in a different box than you would keep like a wolf cub. Okay. Yet the mountain will not be denied, I suppose it won't. Okay, clear out the lair. Flame drain, fight less road battles. I, we'll, we'll try the fetter, okay? It's going really, really badly, um, typically, when, when we've gone. But I think that we should just... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. I just think that we should do it, and it's going to be fine. Let's put this on as well, since normally we're going to be using it for healing. Um, and then, yeah, you should probably get more. Uh, you should get more. Frankly? Okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah, well, climb on back and we'll be off, you know? Okay, let's try it. Um, we are gonna try. We'll at least hit the lair. I don't know if, you know, we'll actually, uh, fight the lair boss. It depends, um how suicidal that strikes me. I mean, anything that takes a long time is bad for any of these layer boss fights. You know, there's never really a situation in which you're like, oh, I really want to slow play this, you know? Okay, it's, it's there, kind of middle, like uh, maybe three quarters of the way in. Yes, let's imagine that I was good at estimating things. Okay, so we could, ugh, and I don't really want to lose our armor immediately. And somebody wants the blood, which we're going to have to hit an academic study for. Okay, either way, we need to make sure we can get to this lair, which means we have to hit this hoarder. Uh, which means, oh, but we can hit this hoarder from any other of these, so it's not super important. We could try this left path, go to the academic study, take this hoarder fight or this hospital, depending on uh, how bad people's negative quirks have become. Okay, perfect. Also, I, I didn't really wonder, because I was like, oh, if it's the question mark path, like, how will, how will I know which is the right question mark? But it turns out they both highlight. So, that's how you know. And by that, I mean, it doesn't actually matter. They just like, it's just, they're just after, like, the thrill of mystery. They're not after what's underneath it. That's, uh, that's what I've gotten out of that, anyway. Okay. I don't know. I just, if I were bandits, I think I would stick to, like, the the burning city or whatever like that that frankly that seems safer you know <laughs> than like whatever's going on here where everything wants to eat you like at least the cultists are probably just gonna kill you i mean is it, is it that big of a deal you know but these guys are gonna like eat you and they're really gross about it too so i'm just i'm not a fan okay well that's been good the taunt is over Frankly, let's put a Consecration of Fortitude on for him, because he's just, he just, he takes the hits. I mean, apparently. Okay, good old Pillager Crack shot on here. This guy should die to his own, he didn't, oh god, he didn't die to his blight this turn. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a crit, but, okay, the bleed's on here. Excellent. He can't use Stand Fast this time, but he probably can and should. This is a weird one. Well, let's see about it, though. <laughs> Alright, so we have three for two turns, and three for five turns, so I think I'm going to go for the one that's going to do just um, cumulatively far more damage to us. That, that sounds good to me. Okay, well then we can just chop whoever. I don't think it really matters which slot we pick. Twelve is alright. You know, doesn't quite, maybe this will get us the kill? Jesus. No. No is the answer. It does not get us the kill. This does. I don't think anybody wants to kill pillagers. This isn't really one where people are excited to kill anybody in particular, except for, um, 
Whoever wants to kill Gentry. Is it him? Is it you? No. Oh, God. So it's Barristan? Mm. Not amazing. Alright. I mean, to, to get to the point where we're using Divine Grace on, like, the very first road paddle is kind of... It's concerning to me. Let's put it that way. And I don't know if we do as much damage as I would like us to do. What would be really good, I think, is if we got something like, um... Oh, like Emboldening Vapors. You know, something that does that sort of thing. I mean, let's see. What does this do? Okay. Death Blow Resistance. Alright. And it gives them greater resistance to being stressed out. Yeah, I mean, she's probably going to wind up with Death Blow fairly often. Oh, yeah. What is it? What is it? What's the downside? Oh, okay. She can get debuffed more easily. I mean, not amazing. But I will, I will take it. No, we do, we, we never seem to make any progress. I agree. You know, that's how I feel about my checklists. Uh, although I did recently discover that uh, if you put simple, easy, and short uh, items on your to-do list, then um, you can check off a lot more things. It's like one simple trick these productivity gurus don't want you to know, you know? Okay. Shun them not. Hello. Let's see. Get a little backstory. Maybe like a new, you know, get a new combat. Oh god, I can fail this one theoretically, so maybe I will. Ah, uh, he would visit with the sick and dying. Here are supplicants. Out of my way, royal rebuke and royal stride. Okay. Out of my way. He has gone to the front. Ah, oh, pitiful whales. I <laughs> like how they're attacking us. Um, okay, we will embrace them. Oh, wow. Okay. So all they're looking for is a hug here. Perfect. More pitiful whaling. Mine is a kingdom of compassion. Ah, oh, a boorish interjection. He does not enjoy that. Oh, they're all going to get this. Uncouth occlusion. Are they not still our countrymen? Are they not still our countrymen? Okay, oh, wow. Are they not still our countrymen? Wow, he gets so many turns. Okay, so, I mean, already it looks like I'm thinking about, um... Okay, so I can do this, so that perhaps we don't immediately lose this one. I would really like to get the combat skill. Okay. It is a sovereign's duty to care for all his subjects. Very nice. Okay, and then we can make all the others be stunned, which is worth something, I guess. Um, but for now, I guess I'll go forward, and then we can give them a hug next time. I mean, yes, he's going to probably stack quite, a, you know, our advisors will probably stack quite a bit of stress on us. Oh, okay. Whew! Look at us go. I was so worried. Okay. Um, that did not, that did not relieve all the stress. Oh, okay. Whew. I was like, that did not relieve all the stress that I was, I was assured it would. Okay. And then we can go all the way forward. And then, yes, we'll get a little stressed out, but I don't think we'll get eight stress from this. Because there's only three of them, so even if they all get to go twice. Okay. Ooh, plus the pitiful whale. Maybe I'm, maybe I've miscalculated. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I'm really out here hoping for the best. Oh, neat. Okay. Well, let's do this, because I'm really nervous about the stress levels. Same situation as before. Oh, but this time... Wait, wait. They could they could push me out of the first slot, though. Oh, God. They've already done it. Okay. Uh, bad. For sure. Um, if I do this, will it... This is a, a stun, right? So they won't be able to go next. But we are going to get a pitiful whale. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I guess I'll try this. We'll stun them. Okay, and then we will get this pitiful whale. But then it, I should get a turn before the rest of them actually go, right? Yes. So we will do a royal stride. We will move forward. They'll all be stunned. And then I should be able to give a hug this time. Okay, 
Yes, yes, look at this. We're not, we're not failing here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's when we get the disease. I must rest. Perhaps the day has taken its toll. The alien and firm were far less repulsive to him than the venomous whispers of his scoffing entourage. And we got break. Um, which is likely to blind him, but it removes the target's shields. Okay. Well, I mean, that's cool. Do I want to equip it? Oh, isn't that the question? Um, we aren't using Purge all that much. We could try putting Break on here, and that way he can be in the second place slot, and we can use Rampart with Wild Abandon. I would like the Academic Study, and I definitely don't want to go through that archway that's, like, dripping with, like, flesh and gristle. That's a bit gross. Oh, the seat of our regrettable research. I mean, was it really that regrettable? Does he really regret it? I was very skeptical about, like, how much he regretted things in the last game. Oh, hello, strange thing. That lock may exist for a reason, be mindful. And it is likely corrupted, but... Huh. Huh. This is a trinket. This is a combat item? I guess I'd rather have a trinket. Um... Oh, nice, nice, the, the pulsing heart. Okay. Hmm. Okay, she has really low bleed resistances. Oh, so does he. Okay, so we're probably wanting to give it to somebody like... I don't know, this guy takes so much damage. But, I mean, also, if he takes so much damage and he also takes a lot of bleed, that's not very good for him either. Is it? Anyway, whatever. We have its pulsing heart now. I feel really great about that. Um... Uh, <laughs> Okay, so field hospital or resistance encounter, either one is probably better. Okay, so we'll opt for this, and then of course we must we must go to the hoarder. Okay, it's just going to be a battle, and then another battle, which will be fine. Battles are great. I mean, it's better than like us losing our armor immediately. I love having armor for longer. That's probably obvious. I imagine everybody would prefer to have a, a buff instead of a debuff. That's a common one. Anyway... We get working on these guys in the back row. That way, even if he does protect the doll or whatever. Protect, carve the toy, protect the child. It's protect the child. Okay. Listen, I try. Okay. And I definitely want to kill this one if possible. So I actually want to do, oh, uh, come on. I was really, I believed in your judgment. I thought you could do it. Because I don't want him to, he's going to protect this one, isn't he? Oh, no, carve the toy. Okay. Cool. He's pretty good at carving, it seems like. I mean, like, I don't know if I could carve a dog that well. Assuming, I guess, it's, it's supposed to be a dog. I suppose, really, that's, uh, that's how you measure if this, if these, uh, are good or not. <laughs> okay. So we'll do this. Get that out of here. And then he's got a bolster. Man, his, his mental state is not amazing, to be real. Ooh, fell the tree. I wonder what the difference is with fell the tree versus carve the toy. It's probably like a damage thing. But I do like the idea that it's, um... Here, we'll throw this down. I do like the idea though that it's about, like, how much max HP somebody has, you know? Okay, 15 is not horrible. Oh, I don't know. And she doesn't really need the heal, does she? She literally can't even use a heal, and she only has one token of stress, so even if we'd upgraded it, it wouldn't be that useful for us. I'm gonna go ahead and do ministrations here so that he can get, like, just some free heals and not even worry about the fact that he's bleeding profusely. Yep, yeah, there's a nice little car of the toy. Oh, good, more, more bleeding. Okay, well, we can't bolster, so I will stand fast, but I do think we, you know, it'd be nice if we could bolster. Maybe this, I mean, this will probably last long enough that it's, it's relevant. He, he can potentially die whenever his turn is. She can kill him also, but I want him to get to use bolster. So I guess I'll just have her do dead of night. It doesn't really make too much of a difference here. We'll all get to go before the woodsman. So that's good. He can bolster. Okay, well, it didn't work on um, the recipient, but hey. Okay, perfect. And there's, I, I don't know exactly how the, the algorithms work here, right? How it does the math behind the scenes. But I imagine, like, the more damage you do, the more likely a death blow is if you're on death's door, right? That that seems really true to me, but I have no real clue if that's, you know, truth. Okay. 
dim light. Yes, hope is seductive. Oh, some whiskey. See, that's that's what's gonna make all the difference. We're gonna have some positive relationships and it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Okay, the towering feast, that's a little iffy. Formations all, oh, this is certain death. Rid the land of this creeping stain. Um Hmm. I just wanna see who has better relations with Audrey. It almost like neither of them, huh? Okay, so we'll just we'll do this. And uh, we'll see what happens. Because I think I think we can handle a combat. This isn't the layer boss. It's just just a combat along the way. We should be we should be a okay. Um, cool. So we could we could get to chopping. We have a chance. Yeah, I was gonna say to kill it to kill it first thing. I think they will eat the corpses, which of course is gross. Um, also speaking of gross, I think we should just get rid of corpses so they can't eat them. I don't remember which of these people can. Maybe they can. I just I think they can though. Um, this is just what gonna knock it back and maybe daze it. It is supposed to go next. Okay, so we knocked it backwards. We did not really do anything great there. Yeah, that beast does appear to have some burdens, huh? That's interesting, he doesn't have more like blight resist. Okay, so consecration. I think it would be better off with him, because this guy might be able to get some regen going. Oh, carve isn't going to be great. Oh, good, good. Never mind about that, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah, they all, they all have some good blight resistance, though, huh? I guess I'll start with this one because he has the lowest. He's still resisted though. Jeez. Okay, headbutt. Does that move him back? No is the answer to that. Tim the flock is gross. Okay. It's not it's not as gross as it could be for sure. Okay, we'll do stand fast. So we'll get some extra, like, good quality blocks. I'll just throw consecration of fortitude on him too. And if they wind up switching places here, like, no big deal. I wonder if we can kill it anyway. What would he have to get to kill it anyway if this is 50%? So we'd have to be doing 16, which is possible, but unlikely. Hmm. We could do this. Okay, and it was a death blow. Right. Well, that makes sense, because it's much easier for us to meet the threshold of 8 than it would be for us to get to... Hmm, my time in the desert has made her shrouded. Um, neat. So her throne diary gets a buff, but that's all we have on for that, I guess, right now. We don't have, like, repartee on or anything, so that's unfortunate. Uh, oh, I, sh I should clear the corpse, though, so they can't do anything gross. Okay, she spends a lot of time stealth, which I guess is good, but it seems unnecessary when you already have taunt. Okay, so finally getting a region is great, but it also doesn't seem like it's that helpful in this situation. We also really need to use bolster, because I mean, him as a stress healer is not bad. Oh, death blow. Okay, well, if this one can eat the corpses, it's what it is, you know? Hopefully it cannot, but our party's pretty slow. Um... Yeah, it's probably going to resist. Yeah, it might eat. I won't, I'm curious if it will. Okay, just backsplash. I guess, oh, I guess I could probably look, huh? Tend the flock, larval slop, backslash, backsplash, and then whatever this is. So I don't actually know. Um, has he gotten the killing blow on any of these guys? No. Hmm. Okay, well, I was going to say I'll, I'll let him have this one. We'll, we'll weaken him with the chop first. We will be weakening him to the point of fatality, so I suppose it's not super useful. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. Not wrong. Not wrong. Survival begets violence, it would seem. Yeah, it seems that way. Okay, this seems great for him because he is just really struggling here. And giving her this would work for her. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. Oh, you know what else we should do really quick, though? Is somebody should get this healing salve. And sure, it could be you. I mean, why not? And I think we, we all have to go hoarder, right? So we can hit the layer boss. Or, you know, at least the layer itself. Perhaps we do not want to mess with the layer boss. 
I've never beaten the layer boss. So that, that also is something that I feel like makes me a little nervous because it seems like maybe I'll just die. Like maybe this will just be the end of this run. And I mean, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not mad about this run. So, you know, <laughs> I'd hate to see it go that way. Hello, hoarder. Okay, we can buy whiskey. We still have glimmers of hope, but it probably wouldn't hurt us to buy more. I would love this, the leaf suspension. I hope they're not selling anything that's like objectively better. I mean, they're not. Okay, so I'll buy this and I'll buy maybe one or two more of these. Maybe I should have looked at these. I still don't think I could have afforded them. I think I could have afforded either of these, which maybe the plague one was worth something actually, but we won't talk about that. Okay, so who is currently carrying... Yep, here we go. I think they can stack up to four, and they can. Yes, we're going to the lair, which is great. You can be... You can be calm now. Yes, see? It's so relieving to him, knowing that we're going to go and try not to get killed. My eyes are wide, but I cannot see. Seriously. Probably they would just... Yeah, you shouldn't look out the window, man. This, this is, like, not good. Okay... Oh, when we kill corpses. Yeah, when we do death blows to corpses. We're supposed to be getting buffs from the little guy. So maybe I should have other people, like, chop it and not just, like, remove the tombstones. Um, unless, you know, she really needs it. Okay. So, gosh, I don't even know. Maybe we stand fast first and foremost. And that way we kind of reduce how much damage everybody else is going to take. We could do a pick to the face, right? Which is uh, probably better. But, you know, here I go. I mean, yeah, see, because if we do get the blight, it's great. Uh, Mother's Embrace seem like, seems like it would really stress people out, but I guess maybe it didn't. This part's not beautiful. Maybe we do this. Because he needs the stress relief. So we could throw this on. And then we can throw on Consecration, and I guess we'll put it on the front. Because we're not like that close to killing this one, so it's not like Judgment would, would do what we needed here. Okay, cool. Oh, and it, it brought him forward. Very useful. Okay, yeah, okay, so Headbutt does move him back sometimes. I was marginally correct on that earlier. And then maybe we hit this one. Okay, she's going to like eat them or whatever, and it's like super gross. Yep, she had some regen. All right. Oh, Ugh. okay. Sure. Shuffle them however you want. Maybe with Rampart we can get a kill here. It's theoretically possible. It is unlikely. We got it though. We got it. Okay. So that's great. Uh, ministrations is not that important in my view. Um. So I mean, with that being said, we cannot. We can remove two positive tokens, but this isn't a positive token, right? So. I guess we'll just start judging this creature. Okay, Beast of Burden. Gross. Alright, he can do Chop. If he does this, yeah, he'll get a heal off of it and maybe something good as well, right? Yeah, Crit and Block. So we need to be killing corpses, not just clearing them, right? Because this clears the corpse. Yeah, I don't know, actually. I don't know how much that, like, helps her. I'll have to look into it. I guess I'll start on this one. Okay, I was just really trying to get something there to negate her healing. That was my plan. Okay, that's good. As long as the Vestal stays in at least the third position, then we're, we're kind of good. Okay, we'll bolster, because these guys, man, they, they take a lot of stress, apparently. I don't really understand what's up with that, to be real. Hmm, we can probably kill this one. We can get fairly close to killing her, too. Wow, a crit for 37. That's, like, wild. Yeah, I definitely should have hit her. That was very foolish of me now. Like, now I see that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, and then when she gets her turn, she'll probably eat the corpse, and it'll be gross and bad. Okay, does she... Yeah, let's see if she gets the, the tokens. She doesn't. So clearing the corpses does not count here, and so it is not worth doing. That's good to know. I really wasted the leper's crit earlier. That was foolish. Well, at least I can remember that now. Okay, yeah, so anything we could apply, like, crit to him or something would be, like, really, really good. 
Uh, we can actually... Yeah, we got the death blow. So he's got two out of four on this, which, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, we did come here basically for that. And I mean, it's been a while since we've been to the Fetter, since, I don't know, I'm terrified of it, I guess. It is pretty gross. Uh, it's shadowy, so I'll use one of these, I and mean, we bought extras for a reason. Okay, there's the dinner cart, which is gross. <laughs> I guess we'll start putting some blight on it. I mean, it seems like putting blight on something that then everybody eats ought to, like, really do you some favors, you know? Seems like that would cause like the plague to spread the blight to spread i suppose okay oh gosh that's that's fairly close okay mother's embrace i hope it doesn't mix them up too much okay that's an, a completely acceptable way to mix them up yes allow the pain to hone your blade uh okay wow that's a little rough for him huh maybe we could have killed that one maybe i should have killed that one depending on what happens. Okay, he resisted the movement back, which I mean, I don't really mind him being there either way. I'll just keep working on the dinner cart for her. Okay, we got some okay blight going on. He can maybe- oh no! I just want him to like get the death blow. You know, I know, I know, but but really, it would have been nice. The administrations. His bleed is not bad. I'm not worried about it. As weird as it is. I'm going to keep working on the dinner cart, I guess. Okay, Mother's Embrace. Okay, that's that's not how I want them to be set up. Wow, that crit was brutal. I guess he was, he was vulnerable or something, wasn't he? Ah, huh, sickly sweet. Lovely. Let's move him up one. Kind of a waste of a turn, but, you know, so be it. Okay... She's going to get to go next, which is not great. Okay, Mother's Embrace again. This isn't okay. This is acceptable. Um, hmm. He's got Dodge on. Reflection is not necessary. We'll start with a Chop. Okay, 9 is not a lot of damage. I know we're kind of just spreading out the damage across them, which is not, not maybe like my favorite approach. Oh, the dinner cart finally gets to go. Oh good, sickly sweet again. Wow, a full seven. Okay, him being blind is not really anything new or worrisome. Okay, so he's at three now, right? Let me look at that. Man, you'd think it would be helping his mental state, because he is he is clearly still stressed. Hmm. Somebody's gonna eat this corpse though. I'm like I'm like a hundred percent sure of that. But if I throw a poison dart on it, I don't think it's gonna be that helpful. I'm just gonna do this. I know that we're losing out on like a buff from it, but I think we've got to cast more judgment on the dinner cart. Like it looks super gross and whoever designed it is like wrong. Okay, I think we should definitely bolster. Apparently I really should have upgraded his bolster skill. So we're at full health, so there's no like, I mean, okay, well now the leper is about at half, but Oh god, see, that's gonna cause him to have a mental break. I just know it. Yep, his resolve is tested. <sighs> see, this is what I was concerned about. Because, I mean, not only is it gonna jeopardize relationships, although we do have some whiskey for that, but, um... Oh, just a regular old corpse. But, if he can kill this corpse... He missed. So, he did not get... Okay, cool. Oh, oh, and he has, he has some trinket on that makes him... When he misses, he gets stressed out. Okay, I should not have that on him. Um, that's neat that you can just kill that. Let's get the dinner cart murdered first, though. Okay, yeah, yes, yes, yes. She's going to eat that. It's going to be gross. Nobody likes this. Okay, listen, man. You gotta try. Ah, uh, okay. I was hoping for, obviously, the death blow there. <laughs> At least we get two more candles, even if we don't make it out of this. Okay, so it was dazed. We'll chop her. Yep, and that's worth it. For sure. This gives us a chance to heal, which is amazing. Okay, sickly sweet. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. He's fine. Um, hmm. I guess I'll ever hit this. Because I want him to try to kill this one. So we can get his goal going. The consecration is good. It shouldn't be necessary here. 
but it would be good. Oh, that that combat item she has equipped can only be used in the front row, so I'm kind of a fool. God dang it. So I was worried about that. Um, hmm. Maybe I could just have him, yeah, get a little less stressed out. And then this, of course, is probably going to be good, especially if, like, eats this or something. Okay, sickly sweet. Oh, it was just, um, dazed, not stunned. So we'll do this again, I guess. I can't, I can't remove this, like, the blindness from him, right? I don't think I can. Um, I don't need her to get those benefits. And I don't know what else I can ever do. I guess I can have her absent. Because this will be considered a separate fight when we move up. Or if we do, you know. Okay, Rampart again. Please, please, just hit. Okay, wow, Death's Door. Um, <laughs> this is horrible. I'm not a fan. This is quite bad. So, I don't know. I guess I'll let that go on. Maybe we could do Judgment here so that she'll get a crit and maybe she can do a crit heal for this next one. Okay, I'm just gonna have him keep like de-stressing and keep trying to have this guy. Oh, that's not gonna be great. Okay, well the dodge was alright. Um, still a net, a net decrease of stress. Um, yeah, we could throw the blight on this. Oh no, it's gonna kill it immediately? No, it didn't. Okay. I'm not sure why it was threatening me with that then. Okay, this time, come on. Finally! Okay. This does kind of put us in a weird position, though. I, I think we should try it. You know, we're early enough that if I can start another run. <laughs> um, we would get, wow, just a ton more inventory slots. Each hero on round in would heal two. Oh my god, that's insane. And then I could either give it to the... The person in the front or the person in the back. It's, it's really good. And things to help us de-stress. It's really good. We just might not live through this. Okay, but we were also kind of holding... We were holding the leper back a little bit last round. And I think that... Pity those. Ah, pity those are the place at the table. That's us this time. That's us. Okay. I'm going to immediately start working on the meat. I know that the, the baby is going to give us a lot of damage, but I think we have to do this because the harvest hunger is just a huge issue. I mean, you can see this already. We have problems. This could return me to health. I know it. It certainly could not. It's fetid meat. It, like, no, it's not. It's not going to help you. Okay. Yeah, that's gross, and it's hurting everybody's relationships. I don't love this. We'll go ahead and put a Consecration of Fortitude on here. Of course, the baby's going to go ahead and attack twice. Okay, great. A crit as well. Man, we are not... We are not where I want us to be. Okay, having Blight taking away at us over time is also really bad. I'm just going to have her switch back, unfortunately, because I can't have the Leper in position 3 like that. Please don't make this work. Okay. Okay, please don't. Just don't. I need, I need them to attack. Okay, so just him. Which is great. Consecration isn't really what I need here. Um, I'm gonna start judging the meat. Oh, she missed. Okay, well that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. 25 left on this one. I mean, the leper could take care of that in, like, one good hit. Okay, the fact is that death's door already is a really bad sign for us. Um, kind of, kind of shockingly bad, yeah. Um... He could do this. I, I do need him to try to chop, but... Oh God. I guess we should have done with Stand earlier. Do I, have I actually had a turn where I could use him yet? I don't think so. So never mind. I mean, it's not like... Okay. One resistance. That's good. Uh, I can't actually... Yeah, these don't count as corpses. That really sucks, actually, because they count as corpses for the other... We missed. Is she blind? Oh, God, she's blind for two more turns. Just ignore the tempting aroma. See, this fight is so, like, long and slow and bad, and he's a death's door from smelling meat. I mean, like, this is not what I want to see for us. Okay. Well, at least they have a better relationship. Okay. Just ignore them. Ignore them and stop taking blight. Just, just say no. Okay, we can't even hit the thing in the back. 
And he's blind. Okay, I really need any of this to work. Jesus. Okay, Maws of Life does a ton of damage. Yeah, I mean, we'll try to save you. Okay, so he's at Death's Door. We'll use a little healing salve on him. We can Rampart here, which is just like whatever and does not really matter. I guess we should probably hold the line or stand fast, I should say. This is fine. We'll do this. Okay, he dodged it, which is great. And the other guy resisted the debuff. Okay, just ignore the gross thing, okay? Just ignore it. God, she missed again. Maybe, maybe you'd do better with melee skills if you're blind? I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll throw this on, even though he'll be at death's door again soon. I, but like this, it should not take this long. It should not take this long. We have, we have a leper. He's supposed to be like this incredible damage dealer. And I'm just like, if we could just kill some of the meat. Does the leper get to go finally? Okay, yes. Yes. So I'm gonna hit this one. And then, no, 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 no! Damn it! Oh, God. Okay. So he, he can heal with Solemnity, but I'm gonna just go for a hit for once. I don't know if the baby can... Oh, God, no, of course he's a death store. I should have done the frickin' heal. I mean, especially if he dies. That'd be bad. Okay, can you not? Girl, what the hell? Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on. Yeah, now, now we got some death blow resistance, which everybody knows is, like, critically important here. I mean, she can't do that much, and he can't do anything if he's not in this position. See, this, for this section, I do wish there was, like, a... Oh, she can't heal him, huh? So just throw a consecration on, I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. Death's door. I mean, it'd be really pathetic to die from, like, a smell. I just... I just want to say that seems especially bad. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, he could march for miles. He doesn't look like he could march for miles. It looks like he's on death's door. Okay, well, your blood flows yet. That's nice. See, why do they keep moving? Damn it. Okay, so we'll have to do Solemnity. We just have to. Um, yeah, because the, the bleed that he has is not that bad. His bleed is horrible. 30 bleed damage? That's, that's enough to kill him for sure. Um, yep, and nothing I can really do there. I mean, we still haven't even killed one. I don't know what, what my problem is. Before I was like, okay, I was trying too hard to kill the baby, you know? And so I was like, I should kill some of the meat so that this doesn't become an issue. That's gotta, that's gotta be a death blow. I don't know how that wasn't a death blow. I'm really, I'm impressed. But it looks bad. Okay, so she has... No, she can't use anything now? Are you serious? Oh, God. You're doing great. This this death store thing is really... It's delightful. Okay, he is weakened. So he could not really... It has two. It has two left. Okay, but this will, this will kill it. I mean, yeah. People like him less. But you could not march for miles, man. You're about to die. Fear not, we are blessed. Yeah, it really looks that way. Um, cool. We can have her absinthe up, and that'll help her out for a bit, too. Okay, the mouth-watering aroma could kill somebody. That's not something you want to see. Okay. We'll do this, because I think that he's more likely to just die. Which is bad, of course, to say. Yep, death blow. But it seemed like he would be okay. I mean, who can say? Maybe it would have gone better if I would have... I don't know. I don't know. Think of the years you have left. I mean, it's looking like we don't have any years left, frankly. Um, hmm. We could do this. This would maybe help us with some things. What kinds of things? Unclear. But, you know, maybe it could help us. I mean, at this point, though, it's like, what are we even going to do? I mean, I guess just have the leper hit whatever's in the front, assuming the leper lives, you know, long enough for this to be a thing. We can do ministrations, and I think we should. Um, okay, that'll, that'll cast more bleed. Okay, he resisted it, though, which is great. Um, I mean, we're not going to kill the thing by chopping, so let's take a heal. 
Uh, I don't think we got to use both healing staffs that were on the mana arms. So that's bad. Okay, we also have people who are about to get a mental break. Two of them. So that's not going to be amazing. Like, clearly, I guess we should have focused on the baby. But then, the, like, when I focus on the baby, then that went really bad. So, okay, here we go. If he's resolute, we have a chance. Okay, I'm going to go. You know, I didn't say the converse there, but... Probably we don't have a chance. I mean, the sun is going to outlive everybody, my dude. That's that's not, like, cause for upset, you know? Okay. Cool. Tantalizing tidbit, I'm glad. Finally hit something. That, oh, wow, okay. That's it for the Vestal, huh? So no more, no more heals for us. No more heals for us. Cool. I mean, we're casting Blight, but it's so little. Okay, with, well, I mean, this is it. Painful, too. Well, maybe she's going to be resolute. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow, that's miserable, actually. I mean, imagine if, like, the Leopard got in resolute. Like, we'd, we'd have, like, a fighting chance still. But, uh, but no. But no. All right, so that's painful, as always. But, oh, what can you do? Okay, turns out maybe our random build didn't, wasn't as strong as it could have been. <laughs> Alright, welcome to Death's Door. She's got the candles, right? Oh, tantalizing tidbit. Okay, another Death's Door. Like, all we have to do is survive every Death's Door thing. And then, man, I mean, just, just don't die to the smell of, like, rotting meat, okay? It is gross, you know, it is gross. But... Okay, so maybe she'll dodge the next couple of attacks, and then we'll just pick to the face for, like, you know, however many rounds it takes to get the job done. Maybe that's how it's going to go for us. Um, you know, or, or maybe not. Like, also, there's, there's this. Uh, sure, sure. Okay, so now she's faster, and she's got more dodge. Man, that dodge, it's totally going to save us. Also, why have we not dodged, like, anything? Okay, that was good. That was good. Okay, let's dodge that too. No, come on. We have to dodge that so we don't get on death's door from the bleed proc. Ugh, nobody listens. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pick to the face. See, look, and then we'll just, we'll just, oh, okay. I guess we will not just be hitting death's door for every one of those uh, turns. Okay, well, I mean, we're early enough we can start another, so... It'll, it'll be perfect for us. Absolutely perfect. No complaints whatsoever. Oh, God. Six candles. Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, don't worry. I mean, it wasn't super advantageous to us, like, the money we blew on trinkets last time. Uh, because those trinkets were, like, out of the four we got, three of them required a, the dark impulse. They were all stained. So, I mean, it didn't go incredibly well. So we could, like, unlock new trinkets for people. Uh, why don't we just, I don't know, take one new trinket and grab, like, a new combat item or an in item or something? Oh, uh, this is, this is not bad, actually. Okay, that's cool. Um, sure. And then we'll try out and get a fancy new in item. This is gonna make all the difference. Ah, oh, roast pig. Whoa, look, it's good for all hero pairs, though? That's actually amazing. And it can be used in addition to normal food. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of, like, I'm all for that. But it's a little gross coming, like, straight on the heels of the fetter. It's like, I don't know. I mean, it's all the same art style. So any kind of, any kind of corpse there is just not super appetizing after, you know, you have the baby cornucopia fight. Um, cool. So here we go. Resentment again. Why not? Okay, we'll face our failures and or be consumed by them. How apropos, I would say last time we were probably literally consumed by them. Yes, he understands our eagerness and it pains him to have to, you know, not let us succeed or whatever. But clearly a resentment festers in us. Clearly. Huh, I wondered which way to failure. Okay, so let's try random. Let's see, let's see what we get. Okay, so obviously the leper can't be in the back. We could theoretically do like a nice if it bleeds kind of thing. Look, see, this, this is the kind of thing that could work 
theoretically, right? As opposed to, I had a flagellant hellion run. It was so bad. It, like, it went really, it, it lasted for so long, but it was not good because, like, neither of them, they both needed to be in slot two, so I had to keep, like, switching them around and stuff. It was beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay, unyielding is great, but off guard is horrible. Like, what, dude? What's wrong with you? Okay, um, I'll do this one. I like it better. That way, you know, if people do get switched around, it's not like the absolute end of the world. Um, you know, we can, we can have him really try to do some damage. It does make him slow, though, and he's already slow. Where, where do I look at his, like, actual skills? I'm, like, trying to right-click on him. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, that doesn't tell me how fast he is. Okie dokie. Okay, so I may never know. Poet would improve his self-healing skills, but he would do less damage. No, no, no. Look, we'll just try Tempest again, okay? Did it go badly for us last time? Yes. But, you know, whatever. Um, hmm. So, she is going to be doing, like, if it bleeds in this position, like, quite a lot. We'll take off Iron Swan. We don't need bleed out, probably. I like Bloodlust and Raucous Revelry. I like them both quite a lot. And I guess what we could do... If you have Immobilize on, does that mean the Leviathan can't suck you under? I'm just curious. Asking for a friend. Um, what we could do is we take off Barbaric Yop, and we could put both of these on. So we have some way to remove... Um, the winded that we could throw on for raucous revelry as a stress healer. Although, in fairness, like, I, I want to leave toe-to-toe -to -toe on just in case. You know, if the party gets mixed up, then we could have her move, you know, even if she moves all the way to the front, not really a big deal. The leper can party here in, in rank two. That'd be fine. Um, I'll get rid of flashing daggers like I always do, and then later be like, why does everything suck? Um, okay, and then, of course, him. I think he's actually better in rank three than four isn't he this moves him forward this moves him back um harvest is kind of fun i like play out a lot as well mm hmm so this hits two and potentially has a combo so i think i think harvest is better than slice off although i don't want anything to do with any kind of gross harvests right now please and thank you so we put her here then she can't use pick to the face but also who cares um, we could have her do repartee, repartee, whatever I say here, like, clearly I don't speak French. Um, it's a French word, right? Maybe that's just me, like, overgeneralizing languages. Um, of course, if we take off pick to the face, then, you know, she's useless if she gets in slot one, which is bad. It is bad, but if we have her in slot four, we don't expect her to wind up there, right? So maybe we try something like this, and we just, we just see... What happens for now? Also, let's look at her quirks. Oh, God, her melee skills have plus seven crit. Okay, so that's that sucks. Um, and she's afraid of the fisher folk, which is not super good. Because <laughs> I'm over here just repeatedly talking about what it's going to be like to fight the Leviathan. So, you know, whatever. Uh, he's got Dancer's Balance. Oh, when he's moved by the enemy, he gains two dodge pluses. That's sick. Okay, Boisterous is... I mean, it seems like a completely reasonable sort of trait for a jester. Um, hmm. I like Virtuoso, but it always makes me nervous about his lack of resistances. Also, we have no healer in this one. Yeah, that's something. So maybe we should be careful. Maybe we should be careful. Hmm. You know what, though? I'm going to do it anyway, because Soloist isn't any more careful. This one's not amazing. So we'll have her not do Ravager, so she has less of a chance to actually throw on her own um, bleed, because we won't really have a way to stop that. But I'm telling you, these, these random, or semi-random builds, I call it, because if we move them around, I think it's no longer like adhering to the randomness the way we, the way we could have. Shroud Tactician is fine, and she can't get enough of the hard stuff. Okay. So, she'd be good in the Shroud... Whoa, 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 She's good in the Shroud, and somebody else is afraid of Fisher Folk? Okay, great. Alright, well, let's just see. Let's see what happens. Um, I should maybe look at these and see if I like them. Play Out, I think, is really nice, because you can shuffle people backwards. 
but probably we're mostly going to keep people in the same place, right? This will move him around. This moves him around. Okay, so he'll be moving, like, forward and back. But he should really, we should really only be comfortable with him moving back, unfortunately. Okay, but Razor's Wit will work in slot four. So he, he only needs to play in slots three and four, or we're going to have problems. I think Battle Ballad is fine, moving people forward. Okay, sure, sure. Look, we'll try for this. It's not like we can't change the skills as we move, you know, if things don't go according to plan, which, I mean, that, that seems unlikely. Okay, so we've made it to the valley, out of whatever pit of hell we just came from. Oh, we hope for solace, but sometimes you, you just, you don't find it, you know? Okay, he wants to use medicinal herbs. I really, I don't like the ones where people, like, want to use a certain item if we don't start with it, because I'm like, God, I have to spend, like, good money on this. Um, hang on a second, do we have something? Okay, so the melee skills will have death blow piercing. I feel like she's the one who's most likely to just, like, do straight-up attacking. Because all she has is melee skills. Because all he has is melee skills. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I don't know. Maybe we throw this on. Okay. Uh, she wants to kill cosmic beings. No problem. It's easy to find cosmic beings to slay. Uh, he wants to kill fanatics. Okay, we got, we got a lot of fierce competition for killing fanatics. That's what I have to say about that. We got two gold there. Can't figure out where the G key is. That's fine. Oh, I mean, you know, only been using keyboards for like most of my life. But sure, they elude me sometimes. Uh, maybe I can blame it on learning stenography. I think that's completely reasonable. Oh, even our valley is not immune to the spreading stain. He, I mean, he seems like he resents us. You know, like the academic really. I don't. I don't believe him. When he's like, oh, it pained him to hold us back and stuff. No, he just, he wants to. Okay, we'll do this. I mean, neither of them should bleed, but they both did, so I'll take that. Um, and we'll just work on this one. I guess I shouldn't be super worried about it, because obviously stress heals is the only kind of thing my party is equipped to handle. Uh, but just, just ignore that. Like, don't even, don't even worry about it. <laughs> okay, so this one will die. Um... I mean, it's nice to have a party that does more damage. It's not nice to have a party that doesn't have a healer. It makes me very nervous. I know there's lots of ways to do a Darkest Dungeon run that successfully don't have, like, a designated healer. And she can heal herself, and he can heal himself. She doesn't have any heals, so that's going to be rough for her, and he doesn't have any heals. But beyond that, I guess we're okay. I mean, this shouldn't really matter. Yeah, like, this should just get the kill. Perfect. Fade to black. I did really enjoy his lore scene being like, you know, a little fiddle battle with the devil. I think that was great. They definitely like gave us a little too much information, I think, though, and it's like, you know, oh, what comes next? You know, I should really play like, you know, a chorus here because he did a verse. Tisk tisk. Um Okay, we got we got body tails, which we're actually not gonna use at this inn. For basically for certain, I would say. Okay, let's see how this, uh, come on, what are you going to give us? What are my pet options? That's what I'm most excited for. <laughs> um, okay, oh, the larval carrion eater is here again. It's not the best one for us, but it's very cute. Uh, we can get some slime, or we can get a reanimated rabbit. Okay, do they have anything good here? They have medical gear, which is not good for either of them. The stagecoach item... This one is road gear, and it's nice. It's nice as well. I mean, it's probably better than the, the food, the ice box thing, right? Right? Okay, so we'll buy this, and then I guess we'll take the slime. Hello, slime. And then, you know, probably just do, oh god, we could buy whiskey flasks, though? Okay. We already have a bread, I guess, which is great. Um, hmm... I mean, in that case. So, I guess I'll just buy bread for everybody because I want to have a little extra money to spend on whiskey. I mean, they're all grains, okay? So it doesn't really matter what we spend them on. That's, that's what I stand by. Okay, now everybody will like each other more. Okay, 
wants a staple in his court, just missing the apple. So now everybody likes each other more. I mean, like, we could be looking at, theoretically, right? Like, positive relationships out the gate. And wouldn't that be delightful? Um, okay, I'm going to go back over here and see about the whiskey and how much we can afford. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to hold on to the body tails because thankfully nobody is stressed out yet. So I, I want to say probably everybody's at 10 now with each other, right? That's not bad. And I mean, if I have like choices like this, because you know, you so rarely get like a tabula rasa here, but I don't know, who would I want to have like more positive skills? I don't know. Um, probably not the leper, as weird as it is, because the leper has so many other skills that like we don't use all the time. You know, he has a bunch of single use skills. So we probably want to do something like, I don't know, maybe you two? Yep. So do these two, because that should put them into friendly, right? Does that put them into friendly yet? Okay, so one more bottle of whiskey would put them into friendly. Sure, you know what, I'll just, I'll buy all the whiskey they got. We'll try this. And then now they, oh, we, we got two out of it too, which was amazing. That's great. So now they definitely should be, yeah, so they're friendly. And then, I don't know, we'll do like... You and you, I guess. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, and then we'll go ahead to the mastery trainer. Oh, I should also see what, what our route options are. Why are you... Oh, yeah, okay. Sure, we'll buy one upgrade, and then we'll get this one when we go into the region. Let me look at the routes. Oh, what? We can get a pancake griddle? You know, I love that. Um, No time to bleed. Avoid the field hospital. Blood and hope. So way more of the hopeful things. But are we ready for the fetter again? I mean, it did just like completely and utterly destroy us and there's no pancakes at the end, you know, and that hurts. Um, of course, the enemy's having such a huge advantage is bad. You know what, we will, we will take the fetter, okay? We're gonna take the fetter and I believe in us. Everything's gonna be different this time, this time, for sure. Um, I like his chop skill being better. Probably I like her if it bleed being better because she's going to, it's going to be like the only thing she uses. Um, so I want to do that. Um, does he have anything that like, I mean, he doesn't have anything that will ever heal, right? <laughs> I just want to be clear about that. Fade to black being more, more useful, like having, adding combo is good because I think that we have lots of people who benefit from that. Ah. Uh, I guess we'll leave his chop skill as it is, and I'll go ahead and I'll throw on an upgrade to fade to black, because if he uses this and scoots backwards and applies the combo, then that means that we can ignore blindness on the chop skill, which would be even better than like having it upgraded. So that should work. Okay, and then, you know, we got a little bit of erotica we'll save up for later as, uh, as a reward for surviving the fetter, and uh, let's, let's roll out. I do love her wearing the, the skeleton on the back, though. I think that's really, it's very fun. You know, very silent from Slay the Spire. And that's also my favorite character. No, that's kind of where the similarities end, though, isn't it? Oh, and not, not like them kind of coming from, like, a tribe of people. But um, one does bleed and one does blight, I guess. Since that's how they would call it here. Poison, blight, whatever. I think it is fun. Like, it, it's very, it's very Darkest Dungeon to call it blight rather than, um, am I supposed to be, like, avoiding road battles or something? I think I am, which I don't like. Oh, but there will be no way to get to the lair. And of course, of course we want to try the lair fight. Of course we do. I mean, they killed us last time. So, I mean, that's how you know it's good. Uh, maybe we're just out for revenge. You know, maybe that's what we're looking for. There is a lot of candle possibilities here as well, so I would... You know, I'd abide by that. Okay, he's always off guard. That part, that sucks. Remember, we must always kill these dogs. I just, I hate their, their, oh god. Okay, he's gnashing. He's gnashing. We're good, we're good. Okay, I mean, the bleeding's not great, but... So we could do a little fade to black, right? And then he can scoop forward next turn. Um, will this dog die on its own? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, then we'll get working on the fire mouth since I'm not trying to get... I don't know what we're going to do about damage. Like, I just, I straight up don't know. What, like, hope we get mental breaks? And, like, get resolute every time? 
like this is this is like why it confuses me because there's never there's not that many healer classes and there is often like an expectation that you find people who can just heal for themselves but it makes me nervous okay it just it makes me nervous cool go for this i guess yeah that's probably about the blindness now he can scoot forward and we can probably kill this one yep cool we're trying to kill what was it that everybody wants to kill fanatics okay yeah we're not there yet i guess i guess we're just gonna have to rely on like dead of night uh the pillager crack shot gets to go more often so we'll we'll try to put some blight on here oh he resisted whatever well i mean you can't win them all <laughs> I mean, that's clearly my philosophy, you know? I clearly don't even want us to win if I'm going to take us to the lair, boss. Um, but... Sure. A slow death, a death by inches, etc. People love those. It's a, like a crowd pleaser, you know? Sure, we'll just do this again. Some people won't be able to hit them there, right? Yeah, that harvest isn't going to be worth anything for us. We can't do Inspiring Tomb because nobody is yet stressed enough. Perfect. Uh, I guess I can just move her forward and then she can do whatever else. Okay, I mean, kind of perfect to, to give that to somebody who will then have block. You can do something to remove corpses. Oh, but I took that off. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> cool. Well then, we'll just chop one of these corpses and scoot forward then. Easy peasy. That's how it is. Uh, we could fade to black too. Okay. Not that it really matters. I did expect that to be a finishing blow, so... But you know, I mean, why not overthink it? Okay, we got some nice silverware. This is gonna go great. Uh, when we throw like a housewarming party, people are gonna be really impressed. That's gonna be in Darkest Dungeon 3, you know. Okay. Because I mean, like, well, we, we started, we started kind of exploring dungeons, and then we're doing a road trip, and then next, maybe we'll, um, hello, Towering Feast. Ah, oh, Plague Eaters. As long as I can lift my blade, I'm ready. Impedus and no vengeance. Marvelous. I've been practicing my aim. Uh, sure. Yeah, I think she has a pretty good relationship with everybody, but I'd like to keep it that way because, you know, we can kind of build on this and potentially get some positive relationships going, which... Oh, man, that's weird. Two food carts, huh? Oh, man, these, uh, these food trucks are getting out of control. Let's do this. Scoop back. She'll be able to hit both of them, right? Because that's slot one and two and slot three and four, so that's kind of fun. Um, this would be bleed resistance, but they don't have it anyway, so I'll have her work on the one in the back, because I want, I want him to be able to hit that one. Oh, you know, maybe I should have let her do it, though, because they're gonna resist blight like crazy. Excoriate, but it missed. Oh, wow, delightful. Okay, excoriate, but it hit. Less delightful. Okay, so here you go, my friend. Here you go. So the combo, I mean, we were able to get rid, dissolve. We dissolved his blindness. That's how I'm gonna, so I'm gonna color that. Oh, we shouldn't, well, no, he has to be in the slot for it to work. Okay, never mind then. Sure, we'll have her do this. That way we can actually reasonably apply this. Cool. Yeah, and their bleed is not, I mean, four bleed per turn is not, like, incredible. It's probably not gonna kill them, but it still isn't, like, the worst. Okay, please stop excoriating him. That, like, hardly seems reasonable at this point. Uh, sure. It's weird that this one's now in the back, but I guess I'll just do this. Just try to get some damage out there. He does do, like, an astronomical amount of damage. Look at this, we'll hit them both. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, six per turn. Oh, she doesn't need the heal, unfortunately. It resisted. Come on, we even had the combo there. How can they do that to us? Sure, a little death door. Oh, yeah, look at that. Succumb to the bleeding. Which makes sense. They're just like a pile of meat. I mean, that you can describe a lot of people that way, but I feel that this one, this one really is far more accurate. Okay, so let's scooch on. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We love...
love the layer bosses. We love it. Oh, I mean, I just wish I could quit when I'm ahead, you know? I have I have backed out from a layer boss fight like a, a handful of times. Maybe a couple of times, I don't know. Um, oh, man, that sucks. That was like stimulants and we could have thrown that on. And it's fine. These are just gaunts. No big deal. I don't think anybody's crazy about killing gaunts. Somebody wants to like use a bear trap or something, right? Oh, no, the bear trap was, uh, was somebody last time. Awkward. <laughs> don't ask what happened to them. Uh, okay. Cool. Maybe we can hit this guy, yeah, before he goes incognito on us. God, he still won't die, though. Okay, well, that'll, that'll get the job done. Bit of overkill there, but, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll live with it. Okay, cool. Ah. Huh. Delicious. Oh, good. She's got periodic paralysis. Really? It couldn't be like Tarantus or whatever? Uh, oh, it makes her... Oh my god, it slows her down so much, too. Wow. That sucks. Like, if you were looking for my professional opinion on that, here it is. Because that, that blows. Okay, she doesn't need the heal, of course. She never needs the frickin' heal. She'll die, right? Yep, she'll die now. So we could just do, maybe we do like, probably like fade to black. That's fine, yeah. We can always use like, I'm kind of interested in using Battle Ballad, get him forward. Yeah, let's do it. Cause then she could use if it bleeds again. And she could still use that other attack that she has. That, that's not a bad place for her. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, she has no heals though, right? No heals for her and no heals for him. So that, that part will be hard, I think. Sure. Okay. Too easy. I guess I should have him do his own heal now. He's probably low enough for it. Yeah, probably. Okay. I can't de-stress anybody. I can do harvest, I guess, if I'm trying to, like, play it a little slow. Yeah. This might kill him, though. Right? No, no. Okay. He'll, he'll still get a turn. I mean... Yeah, that wasn't amazing, but he'll get to heal for 33%, which is a better place for him to be than where he was. And she can do it if it bleeds, and then we'll be done. Okay, I mean, that was, that was timed okay. We didn't have to, like, slow play for, like, six rounds or whatever I did earlier. In a different fight. Okay, so dead ringer. Wow, okay. Hastening the enemies if you miss, though. That's, uh, oh, we're a good egg. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw this on. Yeah, she really needs the stimulants now. Like she's gonna she's gonna need them pretty bad, I think. Uh sure, you can hold on to the stimulants. You can administer them as necessary to people. Um hmm. She's basically always gonna be attacking, right? Her speeding them up, you know, otherwise is is bad. I'll be I'll be frank with you on that. Man, I wish this was going to be a field hospital. It's not, but I wish it was going to be, you know? Okay, oh, we're getting candles, though, hmm? So now when we die horribly, it'll be great. Um, well, I mean, he has the least skills, so let's keep going. And people seem to really love the leper, like, to really think he's very strong, so... It's obvious that we should, we should give him a shot, and I think I'm more inclined when they have more skills, which makes sense. Early signs, Early signs could be ignored or concealed, but soon the reality was inescapable. Reality. Yeah, man, imagine, like, your shitty advisors being right, you know? Whether by some affliction of lineage or by direct transmission, symptoms of incurable disease began to openly manifest themselves. That does suck. Racked with pain, he summoned doctors and aides from the farthest reaches of his lands. Seems reasonable. All of whom concluded the worst. He's dying. Yeah. That's never fun. Okie dokie. I mean, he's really hastening along his journey now, though. Okay, revenge is fun. Uh, wow, okay. It gives him two vulnerable, but also a turn start. He would, he would gain more attack. That's a dangerous game for somebody with two turns of healing. I don't know. It's good. You know, I mean, it, it, it does seem good, but... Oof. So, we really probably need to get in the habit of, like, using these setup turns. Like, casting with stand as soon as we start. Because, like, that would probably be 
really advantageous for us, and we haven't really been doing that. I wish, I hate when he says this. I really haven't calculated my odds carefully, man, obviously. You know? I mean, if I had, oh, oh, we, we can't, we can't, hang on, can I, can I give this to somebody first, though? But, but I gotta, but we have a healing salve now? If I click on the harvest house, I, I don't, I don't get a chance? That is awful, we had a healing salve. I mean, that would really help us. But, okay. Um, alright. Well, here we go, I guess. We'll give this a shot. Uh, we should probably actually do, like, just harvest. Get some bleed procs out there. Oh, it's like deja vu. Were we just here? Okay, maybe this will... Okay, the blight worked. What does that say? Fodder, consumable by other plague eaters. Yes, very gross. Okay, so now this one should die. Of course, he's dazed, great. But at least he didn't get a turn, you know? Ew. I wish you guys wouldn't. But, I mean, if they're full on health, uh, it could have been worse. Could have been a regen, you know? Uh, did somebody want to... No, somebody want to kill Gentry last time. I think that might have been, like, the only freaking candles we got. <laughs> Okay, cool. Easy death blow. Probably people are going to be eating these corpses, so I'll have her get rid of them. Sooner rather than later. Um, yeah. I'll have her clear this one. Oh, and she can actually use a little... No, she couldn't use any heal. Whatever. It's better. It's better for me mentally if I imagine that she could. Okay, so we'll throw this out here. Kill this one. Might be able to... Do it fairly expediently, yeah, as long as he doesn't miss, which, I mean, he did, so. Okay, carve. Have you thought about picking on people who have some kind of healing? Like, I, it's just a suggestion, okay? Uh, so, we could harvest again. This one will definitely die, though, so there's no reason to do something like that. We'll just do a fade to black here. And we throw that combo on, and maybe something good comes out of it. I mean, it seems kind of dumb, but I feel like we have to, because if they eat the corpse, I'm not sure if they can eat the corpse, but if they can, I, I don't, I don't want to see it, you know? Um, what about you? He has a vile feast, but, um, hmm, okay, whatever. We'll just kill them. How about we just kill them instead? Okay, so he's dazed, which means we'll get a chance to chop him to death. Wow, that didn't even work. <laughs> okay, well, at least he has the bleed to kill him. I mean, this fight went much smoother. So maybe, maybe we have what it takes to kill that awful baby and its piles of fetid meat. Man, kids these days, I'm not sure I understand their, their toys, but, well, you can't, you can't know everything, I guess. Okay, maybe everything will go really great for us here. Everything will be totally fine. I guess we'll throw this out here because it has the least poison resistance. Uh, sorry, Blight. I guess I'm just targeting the lady here. Um, even though the leper will probably have to... Yeah, because she'll... This is regen for her. I know it is. Yeah, gross. Okay, we have enough bleed on her for it to not matter. And that was an acceptable way for her to mix up the party. Ew. Wow, nine damage, blind, and taunt. Wow. That's, uh... That's impressive. Hey, remember, try not to hit the people who have no way to heal, okay? It's not very cool. We can try just killing her. He is blind. He is blind. So he's probably not... He's probably not. Oh, God. I just want it to work. You know? I just want it to work. That's all. Um, well, he could do fade to black. Oh, God, that's right. He was blind. Oh, the tokens. They hurt. Maybe we can, maybe we can get her to a point where she could die. Yeah! Okay, we got there. Okay, invasive species sounds bad. Try not to get some horrible illness. Actually, if she got a horrible illness, it would overwrite her periodic paralysis. So, actually, maybe get a horrible illness if you don't mind. So, surely the food cart, the food truck here, yeah, will eat the corpses, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Not surprised. If I flee now, I might live. You might. You might. But, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on it, is all I'm saying. Oh, that's right, she can't move backwards, I always forget. Okay, well, we'll have the Jester move her around. Yeah, um, and by move her around, I mean move the Leper to the front, but that's cool. 
Okay. And then we'll take care of the corpse so that they can't eat it. And the stealth won't hurt, I guess. Um, well, the, the stealth didn't help, though. <laughs> so, that's not amazing. Yeah, I don't know, though. What are we going to do without, like, healing abilities, though? Like, that seems... That seems like the hard part of this fight, right? Because then it, we're basically just killing the Jester if we do it, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, because this fight has gone well for us, but look at this. Like, the stress as well is also fairly high. It is just him, but I mean, what are we going to do? He gets on death's door and then we have no way to protect him, right? Let's look at what we can get from it. Max HP, 50% more max HP, but 50% less death blow resistance. Okay, Ghastly Gruel would be really good, though. Well, healing received from skills, it would only help the leper. Mm, I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to have some self-preservation. We will, of course, fight a layer boss, but we're not fighting this layer boss. I mean, we couldn't put the healing salve on. I think if we had been able to, I think that would have made all the difference. But as it stands, we're basically just trying to kill the Jester, right? Which, I mean, I guess we don't really need him for this fight, but I still think I would I would prefer him to not be dead. Uh, remember, live, uh, live, love, laugh. That's very nice. Okay, we had a creature den. Um, that'll give us something we can do here. You know, like, have some kind of reward to, uh, something to show for our time at the Fetter is what I'm saying. What I'm trying to tell you is it's a souvenir, okay? That's what we're doing. We're getting souvenirs here. Uh, it's like those penny presses, you know, but if, if the penny press, like, also tried to grind up your fingers if you weren't careful. Like that kind of thing. Okay, so we'll just, we'll begin with a little harvest, which of course they'll dodge because, wow, they have so much dodge ability. But also, like, whatever. Haste and carelessness, hallmarks of the unprepared. Like, that's, like, don't, don't talk that kind of garbage to me. Oh, she got tarantism. Why, why couldn't it be her? Well, I guess it's not too late. She could also contract a horrible disease. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't complain. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Got a little bleed going. God, watch these bugs kill us, man. Okay, so he's actually not blind for once, which is weird. Um, usually I'm used to him, like, by the time we can use him for the first time, I'm used to that. Okay, he's got to use the, the stress, you know, the, the nice tune for himself, because he is a little, he's a little worked up. And I mean, in fairness, right, this is his only chance to heal. Um, but if it doesn't work, though, if it doesn't work, then we're kind of hosed. Okay, so we got that one in third spot. Rank three. I gotta get in the habit of calling them ranks. I, that's just clearly, like, not in my vocabulary here. If it bleeds, let's throw some bleed on the spiders. That'll get them killed eventually, even if they get all squirrely on us. And continue dodging. We'll do reflection here, because I don't want to waste a strength on a missed hit. You know, that's, that's embarrassing and unpleasant. Hmm. Harvest is so nice. You know, I know we should probably start clearing these dodges, but but here I am, not clearing those dodges. See, I mean, like, even this, like, what are we going to... Oh, God, I, did, I didn't put the, the salve on. I didn't put the freaking healing salve on. Oh, God. My foolishness knows no bounds. Like, even as, like, as I talked about it when we left, I didn't think about it. Man, these are, these are huge amounts of blight. Um... So that's bad. You know, that's bad. We can probably kill the spider. Yep, this one will die on its own to bleed. And so she doesn't need to do that. Ugh, which kind of makes me feel like maybe she should do raucous revelry. Because that'll help people out. Yeah, she's now winded, but we can remove that as well. Oh, her periodic paralysis has happened. Bad for her, I suppose. Um, we'll harvest. I guess I could have just directly hit that one, though, huh? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, well, anyway, Dead of Night is fine. That way the leper can actually, like, hit this spider in the front. See, that's perfect. Okay, well, the, the, the blight is less than perfect, but this should be a kill. And it was. So that's great. Just one more layer. Oh, it's all carrion eaters and carrion devourers. Um, that's not how I wanted that to go. 
just uh, just in case you were wondering. Okay. Um, it's possible we lose the jester just to just to this. You know, I think it's it's even somewhat likely that we lose the jester to the the blight procs, which is horrible. I just I, I gotta say that. Okay. If we kill the carrion eaters first, then the carrion devourers can't become like carrion devourers plus. And even if they heal themselves, I guess sometimes they get other buffs then. I guess that's the problem. For real, look at that. Bloodlust almost worked here for us. I'm going to use it again because now we should get a buff, right? Yes. Because she now has a bleed proc on. But I mean, that, that's potentially going to kill her, right? Please don't, though. Also, please don't. Like, it would be really embarrassing for us to die at the creature den when I was like, oh, maybe we can take on the lair boss. I mean, that would be... It would be really embarrassing. Maybe I should have put on a shield instead of trying to kill that one. Uh, we could do fade to black, right? And kill this one? Of course, the other little carrion creature could eat it. Okay, look. Chill out, lady. Never mind. It can't eat anything if we're, uh... If we're destroying those and getting heals from it. Hmm... Okay, I don't understand how he's still vulnerable. Like, how come it doesn't go away? <laughs> um, cool. This only removes, like, the basic kind, right? So maybe I throw on with Stan, because he has the ability to heal, whereas some of our other folks who are already almost dead can't. And I got rid of his vulnerability, too. Um, yeah. And he resisted the bleed, which is great. She's a death store, not great. Okay, heal for A, and the bleed is almost done. She's also now way less likely to get bleed, right? So that's that's important. Uh, sure. You know why not do a little poison dart? Yeah, it's probably gonna resist, but uh, uh. okay. So that's okay. I'm just trying to get rid of the block. To be real with you. Okay, wow. That one doing munch does seven, and the other one's doing munch does like two. So, that's good to know. Oh god, that's gonna be Death's Door again. Which I think now she won't heal from. Yes, look, a warrior's death might await you, but do you think you could, like, chill out a little bit and maybe have it li later? Like, maybe kind of pencil it on your calendar for a future date? Because, like, you know, it's really inconvenient right now, and I think we can... I think we can get through it. Okay. We're all really slow, too, which sucks. I'm gonna do Dead of Night again. I just don't want them eating these things. Like, we're doing some damage. I don't want it to go away. Okay, so he doesn't get anything from it. Uh, Fade to Black might be a little more real than we want it to be right now. So, I'll do that. It was weird that she didn't like it if we would use Fade to Black on the front one. But she was fine with it for this one. I think that was really quite strange. Okay, oh god, that's just death's door? Will this thing die? Oh god, this thing's gonna... Okay. Um, look, I just want to say, we're not gonna have a full party wipe here. That would be too embarrassing. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be this way. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Oh, yep. Sorry about how that's gonna damage your relationships. Um... So we're going to do a little heal. That's going to be my, my secret technique there. Um, nice. I, I think that this one will probably die on its own. So I'm going to try to make that a reality. Um, we'll do this. I should have checked to see if he could heal. Oh, okay. Okay. This makes me nervous. Because, you know, she can die from her own bleed there. Okay, that wasn't enough either. Oh, he's still, like, weakened. Which I don't... Was, was he a death store a second ago? Maybe he was. Live if only to spite them. I hear you, I hear you. Okay, so this time, though, let's let's do this. I mean, yeah, the, the partying is not a bad idea here, but... Um, cool. And then this one's a death store. And that means she can try to apply poison dart to it. Oh, look at that. See, look, we made it. It's like it's like there was no issue. There was never a doubt in my mind that we would come out on top there. Oh, and it's congealed slime. And it'll help people be less stressed out, which maybe that's worth it. What where did I say this layer was? 
Is that the one that was like three quarters of the way down? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll have a hero shrine and then some kind of unknown thing. And for the unknown thing, maybe we'll just go to the cache. I guess, actually, I'll let, I'll let my homies decide if they have like some serious preferences. Um, yeah. That's cool. There are times I almost feel hopeful. I know what you mean, you know. <laughs> yes, it's a delusion, but <laughs> sometimes it helps you. Okay, we're at the Shrine of Reflection, which I think he's still... Oh, no, no, it's him and Jester now. Okay. Huh. Um. And so the trap snapped shut on me. I don't know. I'll go for another here. I mean, we're, we're rolling with the Jester, or what? The Leper. Look, there's there, the, the words are sort of set up similarly, so I'm going to go with it. Okay, so treason. Sedition, like any illness, spreads slowly. Yeah, I could see it. Rotten with a cynical opportunism, born of long-standing entitlement. God, they sound awful. The scheming circle of advisors drafted mutinous plans. Though bedridden, he had long since divined their intent. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Probably not hard to see that. Feared the disastrous results of their would-be rule. Summoning his blacksmith and his strength, he hoisted his blade, Jesus, and killed all his advisors? And rose to meet the coming threat. It sounds like he just killed all his advisors, though. I suppose we'll find out in the next chapter of The Leper. Okay, he has Intimidate. Okay, Intimidate. Look at that. That one's actually just positive for us, though. How unusual. Um, hey, you know what? Now that we're here, though, let me just suggest that a healing salve could be just what we need. Um, and I need to also look at the leper and see. So revenge, I'm not really, I don't really want to do. But maybe, maybe intimidate. We haven't been using break at all. It seems valuable, but we haven't been using it. So there's that. Of course, using intimidate, well, we gotta get in the habit of using withstand, okay? I talked about it, but I didn't do it before. I don't know, we'll keep it as is for now. Um, they would both rather go to the cache, so that's good for me. Uh, it's kind of a shame that didn't actually hit anybody who is having, like, a serious stress problem right now, but, look, you get what you pay for. And I, I didn't pay anything to make that choice. So, well, I guess opportunity cost. I guess I paid, I paid with that. Okay, we'll try to kill this guy before he does anything sneaky. Which I think he's, he's very inclined to do sneaky things. I don't think we can hit him, can we? So instead, we'll just maximize damage and bleed and stuff. Okay, desperate grab. If that moves him forward, it's fine. Oh, no, he's stunned. That is not fine, actually. I don't like that. Okay, I don't like him having crit. I mean, apparently, I just, I can't be pleased today with these, uh, with the enemy's conduct, but... Okay, protect the child. That's fine. She'll die to bleed. So it'll have nothing to do with him. Um, God. I mean, we may as well try it, right? Right? God, did we, did we apply another? Okay, we didn't. Okay, well, I mean, you know, it's probably better than just trying to reduce his stress. Like, that's the only other benefit that we would have gotten from getting rid of that blind. Um, wow. Yeah, <laughs> I am mad already. Let the blows come. You know, I admire his attitude. Cool. It'd be cool if we would kill this guy, but he'll actually he'll die to his own blight now. So, you know what? Never mind. We can ignore that. And just go for the chop. Okay. Blind as usual. Fell the tree. See, I haven't seen Carve the Toy on him. I'm telling you, it's about max HP. That's how I would prefer to perceive it. Well, we'll do a little fade to black. And it didn't piss her off that time, which is nice. Hmm, she doesn't need to heal, though. It's a little unfortunate how this happens. <laughs> I trained as a soloist, but... Okay, Death's Door, but it's still going to get a chance to carve the toy. But it missed, so I'm pleased about that. Sure, why not? Hey, it worked. We will best them as one. I mean, the relationships between people, probably from, like, that, that starter feast and, like, all four of those bottles of whiskey... But even with a meltdown, things aren't as bad as they could be between people. I just want to put that out there. 
I wonder if people who are like trained psychologists um, have an easier time playing this game. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, karma abhors waste. Well, I would love to help. Okay, more healing salve, which is amazing. Like, super duper amazing. Some apples and cheese, that's pretty sick. Hmm, nobody else throws on blight, though, besides her. I guess I could put on both of those blight trinkets that she has. Um, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna have the Oblivion's Rampart first. So, you know what, I should take a look. These can't stack anymore, right? No, no. Oh, but she has this. Right? So she's more likely to get stunned now, which is not good. Oh, she doesn't even have this on. Okay. Weird. So, yeah, she has, like, basically no stun resistance now, but I'm I'm down for it, okay? So we put this on. Neutralizing powders is not super important, I would suggest. But, yeah, no, I would rather have stimulants. Um, given how slow the party is. I mean, of course, I refuse to use the stimulants because I'm like, oh, but the party, though, they, like, you know, they're so slow. So if I use them now, then, um, wooden walls, we've been buried alive. Yeah, okay, we were definitely damp before we set off, though. Like, I don't have any questions about that. I don't think they should either. Okay, we're getting some extra trinkets because of the mu mucilaginous slime or whatever it is. Anyway, the point is we have slime as our pet, and it's helping us. That's the important part there. Kind of like that weird slime goo you can use to clear out your keyboards. Which is apparently somewhat effective. I don't know. I'm just, I just believe what Linus Tech Tips, you know, demonstrates. Okay, so a little bone weaving, a little flesh weaving. I mean, you know, you know the way this goes. Hmm. Well, if I can't hit the one in the back, this is an acceptable start. You can hit the one in the back. So that's how we're definitely going to start. Little clarion call here. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Nocturne commune. I can't wait to see how they land that crit on us. I'm sure it's going to be really, really nice. Okay, a little bit of bleeding. Never hurt anybody. I think that's what they say. Um, hmm. Well, this ignores blindness because of the combo. Okay, excellent. That's good. Uh, and we'll just keep rolling with the if it bleeds and the clarion call and such, because this guy we should be able to kill pretty quickly. Yeah, she's the only one who can hit this one in the back, so I think she has to, and then he can try for harvest, and maybe get some bleed procs on both of them. This guy should die on his own now, which is beautiful. She won't, but we can focus on killing her next. Oh, the regen! He's not gonna die. Wow, that's so, that's so offensive. Allow the pain to hone your blade. I, I don't think that's how that works. I admire, like, what he's, what he's going for there, but I don't think it's how it works. Okay, at least she's a little bit weakened before she, like, attacks us. Oh, well, that one wasn't. Jesus. This is funny to be, like, Nocturne Commune. Oh. Wow. I, like, that was just so far out of, like, what I thought was possible. I was like, there's no way that she'll die to her first death store. I guess, I guess we can get lucky. I guess it's possible. Um, how about you? Okay. I mean, yes, I was hoping for, like, a little bit of a positive relationship booster there, but, hey, whatever. Okay, we'll take the free heal and get people in a position for if it bleeds, which is quite nice. Okay, just keep buffing yourself. I have the strategy sometimes, too. If I just buff myself, I'll never have to deal with the enemies, right? Okay, we'll do this. And then it did remove the blocks. So that's cool. Of course, we can't if it bleeds her, but we could do way more damage. Is this thing going to die? It's not going to die. We have to if it bleeds it. Okay. I mean, I can live with it. And then we got... I got a little damage for him, which isn't isn't beautiful, sure. Uh, what if... I can't cast on him because he's already there. Hmm, I'll go ahead and do it, though, because he can still use Chop. I don't think he can use the other one, though. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but with the combo on, it's it's worth it, it's worth it. Okay, let's do this. How about it? Um, because she's one of the people who has, like, the ability to continually heal. Okay, apparently, like, I guess they just can't target somebody in that spot, I guess. 
not super pleased to see it, but whatever. Sure, I think there's a reasonable chance we kill it. Of course, it might get to attack again. Oh, maybe not, though. Okay, we do a little fade to black. We get a little death blow. I mean, this is, this is all we need, okay? It's looking good. All right, we got another little mastery token. Oh, a dark impulse, finally. Okay. I think we can easily throw this on her um, if we want her to be, like, impervious to, like, all blight stuff. Um, well, because then it, yeah, I think that makes sense because then it's, it's basically, like, much more of a positive than a negative. Um, although, really, people having, like, some stress damage is just, like, not that big of a deal. Uh, I gotta remember to use the, the things of hope. Did I not buy any this time? I don't think I bought any this time. So maybe, maybe I can't just remember to use it. I also have to remember to buy it and then also remember to use it. Oh, I don't know. That's two different things. But like I said earlier, you know, some simple things on your to-do list. You can check those off. The Winking Thief. We got discounted repairs. We also gave them some slime. He she's a quick draw, which is, wow, amazing, but it's only for one round. Uh, he's hard-skinned, which gives him some block, which is great. And of course, yeah, we saw him. Oh, no! This is the second person getting bon vivant, which is great. Okay, yeah. So these these aren't, like, amazing diseases to have. Tarantism, I think, is fine. Yeah. Well, we did the no time to bleed thing. I guess we, we took, we stayed under the requisite number of road battles, I guess. Um... What's going on with this? The supplies have actually frightened me because this is what was on the leper when he died in the last run. And I was like, did somebody die? Did they just kill the leper right now? Um, whew. Whew. Stressful. Okay, so let's go for this. I want to just check on, on him because I think he has the worst relationships right now. Yes, people are unfriendly with him. Okay, so we just need to see yellow over here. Oh, God, I just said this. We need to see yellow over here. Okay, but could... Okay, look, I shouldn't complain. We got plus four on one of them, which is insane. We just need to get, like, whiskey or something, and we'll be fine. So let's go visit the Wainwright. We can throw stuff on here. Unless we wind up going to the Tangle, in which case we'll have to switch around. But hello, Provisioner. Do you have delicious items for us? Okay, we have two apples and cheese. Wow. Okay, I'll take the playing cards. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh god, it's gonna go so badly for you. Listen, 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 just chill, okay? Crap. Crap! Okay. Okay, so maybe you were right. What if we just try the playing cards, though? Okay, okay, so the thing is, um, we're basically, like, guaranteed to have a negative relationship there now. Uh, which is not great. We have very unfriendly, we also have very friendly 19 out of 20, so that's, that's good, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna buy some whiskey, though. I'm going to buy a whiskey bottle. I know, I know. I shouldn't be buying the items that maybe will go badly. But listen. God dang! What? For real? Okay. Well, I can get him back up to four. Which is not very good. But wow, that was awful. Oh god, there's nothing else I can buy for their relationship, right? I could buy more dirges and just like pray. You know I'm tempted. You know I'm tempted. Um, hang on. Let, let's look at the route we're going to take. Okay, we're not we're not going to take the tangle because it's not an option. Uh, untouched, which reduces flame drain. That's great. Visit an oasis is also good. Um, okay, strategic plan is great. Reduces the enemy advantage chance. And spelunking is okay. Like, I'm kind of interested because I'd like us to fight. But what can we do? Like, are we, are we equipped to fight the librarian? So let me think about that, because if, if I look at our party makeup, besides these two people who hate each other and are 100% for sure going to have a negative relationship at the end of this, which, god dang it. Um, you know, we could buy the, the Book of Dirges, though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We can afford it. Um, but what are we really going to do? The librarian's going to be in position four for a little bit, and that'll only be her, right? And the librarian will be in position three, and that'll be both of them. They can hit him. And then he'll be in position two. That'll be that'll be uh, these three. And then position, when he's finally in position one, then everybody. I actually don't hate it. 
Okay, I know it sounds bad, but I really, I don't hate it. I'm just really nervous. I think I'm going to buy the Book of Dirges. If we, if we bought the Dirges, and it works. Oh, God, look, it got them up to six. It got them up to six. It got them up to six. Whew. Sure, it was not good for Audrey and Boudica, but they're up down to 17, which is nothing. Like, that's insanely good still. Oh, wow. Did I mention that that was very, like, deeply upsetting, though? <laughs> um, that was awful. Um, cool. Let me look at this. This is apply on hit and gain when missed. Okay, so off guard is not good for him, but the positive relationship thing is great. Her melee skills being good sucks incredibly and does nothing for us. Having stimulants on the party is great. We have extra stimulants in the bag. Like we just, we get, we get turned in here. That's how this works. Um, we could just give her this. Perfect, far flung affairs, love letters from another time. And then maybe we throw like, I don't know, this on? <sighs> okay, sorry, just nervous. Um, it's probably you and you because you two have no way to heal. So that's important. And then we could buy one more thing of apples and one thing of bread. And then we could we could dole that out because I don't I don't want I don't want to do the slime mold thing. I'm even thinking about disposing of it. As crazy as that seems, um, I think he needs to have more. Sure. Okay. Whew. All right. Well. Well. We don't need the tangle almanac, but we might need it later. Let's see about putting this trinket on somebody. Turn start. I mean, he misses so much though. And I don't think she misses quite as often, so I think we're gonna we're gonna put that on. What does this do to her? Okay, if she misses, bad things happen. Got it, got it. Um, the clotting poultice makes sense. Who has a hard time with bleed resistance? Oh, it's the jester the most. So we're gonna do that. Okay, he he clearly is being a choosy beggar about not liking the bleed situation. The flagellant is just fine with it, okay? So some people will appreciate what they're given. Um, the stitching kit is good. We don't have that much money left, though. But the stitching kit would be nice. Um, concoction and powder items. I'm not, like, that into them, because I'm instead more looking for, like, you know, medicinal herbs or something. We didn't buy any Glimmers of Hope last time. I think, I think we kind of have to now, instead of, like, the crazy stuff that we're doing. Um, the additional traveling heal. And healing received from skills. So the thing is, I think the traveling heal has to go to one of the people who can't heal. And I know that like the received from skills is not going to be very high. We'll try this. Yeah, wound rot, I imagine, does smell a bit worse. Okay, so we'll put this on and we'll keep extra stimulants in the bag. It's fine. I just got to remember to use them. I should actually use the stimulants because it's kind of a waste where we're at right now. Okay, making chop better, I think, is, like, good, believe it or not. Um, and then, okay, his revenge is interesting. It makes him only have one vulnerable, which, of course, would make it way more, way more worthwhile. Uh, it also gives him, like, crit, a 15% chance to crit. Okay, intimidate. Oh, remove stealth from enemies. That's kind of cool. Uh, we already have If It Bleeds on... Uh, does this... Okay, so Raucous Revelry can heal her. I didn't realize that. I mean, I should have. This is embarrassing. But anyway, you know, that's good to know. Uh, okay. Hmm. We could do Inspiring Tune. It removing horror is cool. It's cool and useful. I do like that. Um, Battle Ballad. Maybe would help people take a little less damage. We're using Harvest, like, non frickin' stop. So that's something to think about. Uh, making repartee better is great, but we haven't been using it that much. Poison dart we could go ahead and throw on because we use it constantly for her. Having her absinthe heal her more is potentially very valuable because we don't have a healer, like a designated healer. I think we should make chop better. Uh, hmm, uh, hmm. Reflection helping him more. Solemnity, maybe? Let's do solemnity. 
I know, I know. Listen, I know. Okay. So if she's low enough with health, it helps more. We don't we're not really using wicked hack that much and I don't I don't want to either, so I don't really want to like make a commitment to that. I think battle ballad might be valuable. And I think harvest might be good. Dead of night healing more is great, but that hasn't been super necessary. Reaper T. Reaper T would be good. It would. Having like a way better dodge. That 75% chance to dodge makes a hell of a difference between that and when you're looking at just like um you know, a 50% chance. I mean, you know, it feels it feels more impactful too, because I mean you're talking like a coin flip versus I don't know. A D4? Are there D4s? <laughs> yeah, there's there's little pyramids, right? So yeah. Um Battle Ballad, I'm I'm tempted by. I haven't been using it very much, but I am tempted by it nonetheless. Hmm. 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 Maybe we should just I don't know. I mean clearly anything is better than nothing, so I should just quit like quibbling and just pick one. Let's just do harvest. Makes it a, a better chance of throwing on the, um, the, um, whatchamacallit, the combo, the little skull. Okay, we're gonna do the sprawl. Okay, I know, I know, it could be bad for us, but I think we have, we have a reasonable chance, okay? We have an okay party, and we're, we're, we're finding ways to overcome our issues. Okay, they're amorous. Very nice. The Hellion is just kind of amorous generally, huh? Because uh, she was like amorous with the Vestal the last game I played. And that's like one of my first positive relationships with her. So that's interesting. They're respectful. That one that one can be very, very good. Yeah, giving her a dodge when he uses break. And oh my sweet god. It's going to make him stronger every time she uses poison dart. Oh, uh, we're, we're in business. Fade to black. Oh, it's the healing amorous one. Oh, and then she has removing. Okay. This, this could be something that keeps us alive, okay? And hopeful that's just a stress, you know, a stress heal. But still. Okay, she's like never going to use lunge. So that's not great. But play out. Oh, we also don't have play out uh, equipped either. So we might have to change that if we want those free stress heals. Which I guess, I guess I would, you know? It's not horrible. Although like Audrey's going to be the only person like doing completely fine at the end of this. Because she's constantly getting heals. She's constantly getting, um... Like, stress heals then, depending on how this works. Look, I don't even want to see the map, okay? I'll look at it in a second. Um, so she has lunge on now. No, she does not have lunge on now. Because it doesn't make any sense. You know, that's why. Um, so I don't really want it, is the problem. I don't really want it. But we could take off her party. You know, and we could throw on lunch. But when am I going to use that? Like, when am I ever going to, like, willingly choose to do it? I'm just not. So, I don't know. Let's not do that one. But we could fade to, or uh, play out. Play out is fine, I think. So, it's basically the opposite of battle ballad. And I think I'm comfortable with that. So, we'll do play out. And he can use it on himself. He can use it on somebody else. It's fine. Okay, we got to go for this layer. So, we're going to be going, well... Okay, if it would if it would make them happy, we could go left or sorry, right. We could go right and then hit that battle and then hit the lair. Cuz that's what the goal is, right? It's to clear out the lair. And, you know, I think I think genuinely there's like a chance we could handle this one. At the very least, you know, we'll fight the first two floors, see how we feel about it. Go from there. We get some healing salves, okay? It's possible. Oh, friends. Let's hope this goes well. Um, is this, like, because of the loathing? Is that why they, they're, like, buffed? Or is it just because, like, they hate our guts? Because either one, I guess, is, like, a perfectly reasonable answer, but, you know. Man, that was great. Was that a heal? Because, wow. I mean, like, that's so, that's so powerful for, you know, us with no, with no healers. That's really so, so important. I mean, it's a, it's a shame, because these only last for, like, one region. But if we can try to keep everybody happy... You know, we don't have a pot still, unfortunately. That part sucks, but... Okay, look, try not to bite her too much, okay? Like, amorousness can only heal you so much, okay? Like, yes, it's helpful, but... It's not raising the dead, you know? Uh, so we could do break. Which, he might not land. But if he did... Okay. Oh, it works anyway. She gets the dodge even if he misses, so that's like... 
That's pretty sweet. Okay, so we'll move her back. It, it won't work because she's immobilized. Okay, well, whatever. I mean, I don't regret that either. Okay, I guess we'll do this. It's a real shame because I would prefer him not to attack, but he's going to attack somebody. Oh, she dodged it. Wasted your crit, didn't you? Bet that feels bad, weird skeleton creature. Bet that feels bad. I like that he's got the same kind of cowl going on as our leper, except his is like actually like, his looks like fresh. Like he, he just, he just went to TJ Maxx or something. And this guy's is like clearly like an old bed sheet. Okay, so we could do a little break, but we probably don't need to. What about this one? We might just get a death blow. Oh, well, yeah, I couldn't have hit that guy anyway. We're cool, we're cool. Nice. I don't think she needs a heal. She does not, so there's no point in clearing the corpses here. Um, and we'll hit this guy. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, a heal of four, it's nothing, like, mind-boggling, but it is better than what we had before, which was literally nothing. <laughs> so I'll take it. I will take it. Perfect. Okay. Well... I mean, the road battle could have gone worse. Obviously, the leper could use a little healing, but maybe he'll heal in the car. You know? We've got healing in the car. I'm, I'm just trying to do a riff on, like, you know, we got healing at home, but, like, we don't have a home, apparently. Like, we're living in, like, hotels. Like, clearly, they're staying at inns. They're not even, like, living in an Airbnb. So, you know, there's no kitchen. Okay, so they're sharing a flask, which is nice. Oh, field hospital! Oh my god! We don't have, like, any money, which is bad, bad, bad. But, but, we can get rid of this. It was literally all of our money. But, we got that, though. Isn't that nice? We didn't get rid of the diseases, which I was thinking we should do. Um, but... Yeah, maybe I should have gotten rid of the diseases. There was a bad disease that um, the Hellion has, periodic paralysis. I should have taken that one off instead. But it was basically the same kind of paralysis situation for the for the leper, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was worse. Oh, God. Now I'm full of regret. Okay. I'll try to live with this. But, like, when we die to the librarian, I'm going to be like, if only, if only the Hellion had been faster, then we would be fine and look at how I've ruined everything. That's that's going to be like my whole, like, I'm never going to shut up about it. So hopefully we don't die a librarian. Hopefully we live long enough that I forget that I had this opportunity at a field hospital and didn't take it. And then everything will be fine. He'll die before he even gets a chance to do anything. So, like, I'm not even stressed about this guy. Okay, I'm kind of stressed about that. Oh, he missed. Yeah, okay, he was blind. Is that the flame? Okay, I gotta remember to keep the flame up. Um... This chop should be good. Probably like a whole death blow there. Yeah. That's nice. Fell the tree. I'm telling you it's his max HP. Or because he seems sturdier than the others. Either way. So he's going to move forward, but that's fine. He can just switch back and forth. They can switch places all the time. And then, you know, that should encourage positive relationships as long as they're not stressed out. So that's good, too. Oh, okay. Okay. He's not dead yet. Oh, no, look, carve the toy. It happened. It happened. Okay. Well, that's that's the beauty of um, the scientific method, you know? You can't prove things, but you can disprove them. And uh, now my theory has been disproven. So uh, we're good to go there. Okay, no heal, huh? Disappointing. Oh, God, he missed. Okay, whatever. It's cool. It's cool. We're all fine. Uh, sure, we'll fade to black. Yeah, nobody could have gotten the stress heal. I was just trying to think if there was, like, you know, any better way to slow play that fight to get some kind of bonus for us, but I don't really think so. Look, the anchoring charm is okay, but anything that lowers death blow resistance, it makes me so full of fear. <laughs> like, just, just dread. And I know the game's whole atmosphere is about, like, causing dread, but listen, you should probably, like, draw the line somewhere. I like that that little, they had a little flag outside the window that had, um... The little mountains and, and the, um, the stress thing. You know what I'm saying. Um, the iron crown. The iron crown, yes, yes. It's only, like, a major plot point, so how could you expect me to, like, remember the name like that? Okay, so they're gonna do more damage. That's okay. We're, we're not stressed, okay? Oh, we're not stressing, we're just flexing. That's the plan. 
bow to me, take the L, you a fetcher. You know, the, the usual uh, Young Scrolls quotes here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and, and if it bleeds, and this thing will die, which is great. And then if it dies, I mean, when it dies, because, I mean, these are just gaunts. Honestly, this feels almost like an easy first fight. Why are they doing this? I'm so suspicious of them right now. I don't, I don't trust whatever's happening. Um, like, why would they only give us three regular gaunts and then the guy with the bomb on his head? Normally they give us, like, the guy with the bomb on his head and then, like, three, like, you know, two to three, like, hulking dudes who are on fire, like, whipping us with chains and stuff. Like, practically still molten. And then we've got, like, you know, this time they're like, oh, do you want, like, three kind of sad zombies? I'm like, I guess, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Well, we really, of course, we're going to try to kill this guy. Um, which I think we can do. Look at this go. And this guy will die on his own. So we'll move on to the second phase. See, iffy. Look at how simple and easy that was. They're trying to lull us into a false sense of security before we hit the librarian. I'm telling you, that's how it's going. And then, oh, it'll all be because I didn't remove that illness. Oh, God, from the Hellion. She'd be so much faster. Oh, imagine. If I didn't suck. Okay. So we applied the bleed successfully. Oh, I bed no weaklings. I love that it's always her who's like amorous because like that quote is, is beautiful. Big fan. Um, I don't think, I, I mean, I haven't seen any other amorous relationships with my, uh, between my people, I don't think. So, um, so it's always the Hellion as far as I can tell. Uh, sure, sure. We'll work on this guy because he has a speed of nine, which Jesus is basically like an unheard of amount for my people. I mean, clearly they're like my people really, like this this squad, like they're like, they really look up to like snails. You know what I mean? I mean, who doesn't look up to snails, first of all? But like in terms of like speed, that's really where they've, um, that's the specific region or aspect of snails that they idolize. Not just the fact that they can like slither over knives and have nothing bad happen to them, which like how freaking sick is that, man? That if they like, they can just like, slither over like the edge of like a knife blade or other sharp things because like their mucus is like that powerful man i mean i'm impressed okay so he has no death resistance yeah this should kill this one this guy should die on his turn beautiful and then we'll have the whipper coming up next which uh, are you the whipper you are and you'll die to your own bleed which is great Okay, and now it's just this guy. I don't know, Stilty? Oh, Flayer. His name is Flayer. Okay. I was close, you know. Okay, wow, a crit for 44. I mean, do you see how smoothly these first two fights went? We must be. We're gonna get frickin', we're gonna get, like, our butts handed to us on, like, a nice platter, a la the fetter, you know? Look at this, apply on crits. I mean, that's cool. The complete catalog. It's cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay? We can do this. This run is, it has, it has a promising and bright future. Burning bright, one might even say. The name of that awful attack that he's going to do to us when he gets up to rank one. Um, okay, so we can't, I can't do anything right now. Like, in terms of, so all I can really do is, like, move people around. Right? So, like, I can move myself back. And that's it. Right? Um, hmm... Okay, I'll move the leper back one, because it doesn't really matter what slot he's in now. The people who can, okay, yeah, so it's only Audrey when he's in rank four. We discussed this. We got it all planned out. So only Audrey can hit him when he's in rank four, um, which sucks, but it's fine, right? We don't need raucous revelry, and bloodlust won't help us because she's not bleeding. Um... Oh, that's right, she can't go backwards. That's kind of funny. Hmm. Well, I mean, then I'll have her just do, like, Wicked Hack. That's fine. We can never do anything else. Uh, Smokestack can make him blind. Which is okay, because he can just buff for now. Uh, break is not necessary. We should probably just do something, like, with Stand. Oh, uh, we need to move him forward again if we want him to... No, well, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to start with withstand. That's how we're going to start this, Okay. Um, so we'll see what happens now. Okay, categorize. Yep. 
which is fine. It's okay. We can use this to move people into position. I'm not, I'm not worried about this. But play out on her. So she comes back one. Um, and that's fine. We can actually have, no, she has to, she has to hit him because she's the only one who can hit him when he's in rank four. So as long as he's there, she has to attack. Okay. He still didn't burn that book completely, which is great. She can't move backwards, which sucks for us, of course, but we're still fine. Okay, we're going to kind of waste the strength on that, I guess. Um, good. The leper can just move forward. I'm completely okay with that. Yeah, he's going to be blinded. That's nothing new for him. Oh, okay. It didn't didn't even blind him. He resisted. Okay, this time maybe? No, he resisted the burn too. God damn. He's kicking ass. All right, so her being in the front, that sucks. I don't know why she did that. Oh, it's probably her Tarantus acting up again. Okay. We can move her back one, which will put the leper in a place where he could actually do literally anything. Um, of course, we still can't do anything that's useful for her. I guess I could be doing, like, raucous revelry and then taking it off with bloodlust. But I imagine that pretty soon he's going to be in that, in that position in rank three, and then she'll be able to hit him. As long as we can get the leper into first, first place. Yep, I figured that that would be that. All knowledge is ephemeral, all truth is unknowable. I mean, I hear you, man. Okay, burning bright. Yeah, this this is the kind of thing I'm a little worried about for us. So we got to move him into place. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Him being blind is fine because we're just going to have him, well, I guess everybody can hit him now that he's in slot three except for the leper. So maybe we won't. Well, the leper do a stress heal on himself next turn for sure. Um, we can't do harvest because we're not in that spot. Um, hmm. Should I do Inspiring Tune? I think he's going to be okay, though. We could do Play Out. Move her back one. Move him forward one so that he can actually use the his skills. Yes, she should Poison Dart because she still can. Okay, it's fine. The dodge is fine. Okay, wow, Death Blow on that second one. Okay, so this is, this is alarming because he's moving through these a little faster than I thought he would. Um, probably didn't help that we were destroying the book a little bit, too, but we had to, unfortunately. Okay, an opportunity squandered, and he says that'll do. Great, yep. Okay, she's blind now, which is bad. Ooh, and vulnerable. I don't like that. Okay, he's close enough now, though, that we could hit him. I'm gonna do this so we can get the block, or the dodge on her. I don't like that he's faster. That's, that's not good. I'm so nervous because he heals when he gets to that first slot. Oh, God, no. Okay, that's bad. Yep, so he's going to heal. That's just like a free action for him, apparently. That's that's nice. And then, then he just starts burning bright like crazy. I really, I, I'm very, very nervous now. I am, like, excessively nervous. Um, Let's see if we can do this. Okay, blind is really, really good for when he does those those big burning bright attacks. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. That's such crap. I'm not, I'm not pleased with that at all. Okay, so that's not there yet, but we can do a healing salve. So let's, let's use them liberally. Okay, and now he's got two strength on, which is incredible. I mean, for this guy, you know, I mean, yes, taking eight damage a turn is bad. Very, very bad, but we should do chop because that could be a lot of damage. 18 damage is a ton. Okay, her at death's door is bad, but we're going to healing salve her. Okay, and it was a crit. Somehow she critted on the healing salve. I don't understand how that works, but I'm, I'm happy about it. Oh god, he only technically takes up one slot? Okay, so obviously that sucks majorly, but we'll go ahead. We'll work off some of her debuffs here, that she's weak, that she's blind, etc. Yeah, him at death's door is not great. We can pass turn and let him heal. She has, she has a healing salve, I think. Does she? Or am I wrong? If I'm wrong, this might kill him. And I don't want to kill him, but I do want to put combo on him. Okay, she's a death store too. But we can healing salve him. Oh, sorry that you, you have a problem with that, okay? We can put more blight on, but then of course she might die. She might die when he does that attack. Okay, I'll do this, because if, if the leper winds up blind, it won't waste his strength. And this is probably smarter anyway. 
better to try to keep them alive, you know. <sighs> okay, so here she goes. Um, I could use a healing salve on him, and we will. Remember, we're using these liberally, okay? Because these items aren't any good to us dead, and we got plenty of other items we can slot into there. Okay, obviously the death store is bad. I really need the jester to throw on blind, because that's kind of our only, like, real hope. Okay, we're going to try to chop this guy. And that was with our strength up. It just, that sucked majorly, but he's only got 13 on here. So we're okay, we're okay. Shh. I'll give you some absinthe if, if you don't die. How's that? Um, okay, he's, he's almost certainly going to do burning bright, which could kill people. It could kill people. Death's door, death's door. Okay, that's not, that's not killing people yet. Oh, God, no, damn it. What? Really? Okay, so that's it for the jester. Okay, that was a death blow on, on her as well. Um, that's really bad, because we're so close. Come on, please just be resolute. That's fine. As long as you can get, like, one more chop in, you're fine, dude. Okay? You're fine. You're fine. Listen, I know, I know you could heal yourself, but if we just kill this guy, we're, we're fine, okay? We're all fine, we're all gonna be fine. You know, except for the two that are dead. Um, but it's nice, because they were, they were lovers, so, um, you know, it's perfect. Very, very, uh, romantic, Romeo and Juliet style. Like, we made it through, we made it through the fight, we have two people, which is not really enough to maybe get through the rest of the map. But, oh, look, bear traps, that's, that's what she wanted before. Um, what, we got, we got a severed finger that the jester could use, but he's dead now? Oh, God. <sighs> okay. That really sucked. That sucked a lot. So let's take a quick look at the map. Mmm, we got a lot left, huh? Yeah, there's no, like, there's no, like, in along the way or something, huh? Okay. Mmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's look and see what, what we have, you know, what trinkets we can put on people now, things like that. Um, so we can put on... I'm not putting on the minor anchoring charm, get lost. Um, her having less stun resistance isn't great. Random ally on turn end. I guess we put this on. She's not really getting any blight here. So it's not like a huge problem. We could throw the bear trap on because it's going to be hard for us to do enough damage as it is now. Um, apply on miss, making the enemies faster is of course very bad. This guy, this is okay. His melee skills having some death blow resistance is really good. Um, him being able to daze enemies is maybe, maybe worth something. Uh, because this increases our flame dealt, but we don't ever deal any of that. So, whatever. I can't believe, I can't believe I lost two people like that. Like, so, so back to back, you know? Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that. We'll get rid of one one pack of stimulants. Oh, we actually should throw out the severed finger. Because we can't, we will not get another jester. No matter what. You know. Okay. Oh, does he have something on? Baldwin, my friend. Okay, he's got the glimmer of hope on, which is probably good. Okay, they both want to go to the hoarder, but it means we have to survive a road battle. Which I'm, I'm nervous about. I'm, I'm frankly, I'm quite nervous about it. I'm, I'm willing to try it. You know, maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can buy something there. Like a, like a, like a target dummy to take up one of our slots or something. Oh, man. Oh, I should probably change, I should change what she has on, too. Because she needs to have pick to the face now. Um, okay. Four against one and no, no healing yet. Um, that, something about that doesn't feel right to me. I'm going to go ahead and just start, I know she probably needs a heal, but I would like to try to start killing them because we won't be able to take very many of these. Oh good, he, he loses his next action. I mean, how could I, how could I ask for anything more, you know? Okay, he's at death's door already, that's bad. He's probably just going to die instantly to the, the bleed. Okay, come on man, you got armor, you're fine. Okay, you can take some, some bullets. Uh, okay. She can use absinthe here. We could do a bear trap on this guy. And then he would die on his own. So that's great. And then we could absinthe so that she survives, maybe. One of those pillager crack shots is gonna die. 
Okay, that was a death blow. Um, so, yeah, I really should have put Pick to the face on. Because does she have anything? Does she have anything she can do in the front row now? Oh, God. I don't think she can do anything in the front row. Um, so that's correct. She can't do anything in the front row. Definitely should have put the bear trap on. Because we only have until this guy dies. You know, until the tombstone dies. But yeah, she's just going to die slowly. I mean, in fairness, that's probably all that was going to happen anyway. But but hear me out. It's It sucks to see. Um, sure. Why not this? Why not? Okay, well at least the low blow stays on this guy then. Because they can target something else. Okay, cool. Don't kill it yet though, please. Oh, god. Okay, great. Um, cool. So the last thing we can do is the bear trap and I guess get drunk. So we'll get drunk and then have us have them kill us. So that's the plan. Okay, that's a little, that's a little brutal. Yeah, for sure. Huh, <sighs> okay. Well. Okay, we'll go ahead, we'll get drunk. Perfect. Oh, this, this hurts. This really hurts. I really should have switched it to pick to the face. Not that probably we would have survived that, and even if we did, we probably wouldn't continue to survive, like, after this road battle, but at the same time, you know it hurts. We all, literally all we can do is pass turn. Like, that's our only option available to us now, so we just pass turn until we die. Um, cool. You know, there's an achievement for forfeiting a run. Um, and I'm not sure where we do that. Return to game. Options. Oh, abandon expedition. Any bonus candles? Yes. Okay, so we got the achievement. Nope. Because, I mean, we were going to die anyway, since we literally could only pass turn. Okay, and yeah, we weren't going to make it to the end. And we made a, we got a few more candles this time, which is nice. One candle from one hero goal. Great. That's, uh, that's embarrassing. Okay, um, so I don't have another four hours to spare in case the next run goes well. So I'm going to switch over and try Wild Frost, which is another game that's supposed to be painfully difficult. Um, but, you know, it has a totally different aesthetic. So it's not, it's not going to feel like punishment, that's what I'm saying.